What's good, everybody? Welcome back to the Ball Don't Lie podcast. Nice Here today, Summer League underway. I'm going to be there tomorrow if y'all are going to be there. Say shout out to me. Say shout out to Ball Don't Lie. Here. Um, yes, but let's hop straight into the topics. You got the list today. Let's start. Yeah. So, uh, biggest thing right now is the Olympics happening. It's coming Yo, soon. There's a lot to talk about there. Yeah. We've, saw, uh, we've seen, um, what, the first game... Uh, First Canada. Exhibition, yeah. Yep. Canada. Uh, I wanted to get you guys' thoughts on that. And what do you think the team's, how the team's going to perform, what you've seen so far, things of that nature? Yeah, I mean, they're getting gold. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dudes are beating yeah, everybody. Yeah. Canada has one of the better teams compared to the... the you got like eight NBA players. Yeah, like. and they beat them by 15 points. Like, yeah. So I expect them to get even better. With a horrible first half, too. Like, bad first half, hella turnovers, wasn't hitting shots. And they still just, you know, they just, like, locked in a little bit. They didn't even go crazy. Like, Steph went on a little heater, but. At the end. Yeah, but it's just, like, they didn't have to do too much to even get just, like, back in the game Even like Anthony that. Edwards just went on a heater first half coming yeah, off the Yeah, and he, he's the one who sparked the, the well, comeback. Mm. That match should be starting. Because they probably would have came back. Uh, I agree. Match. Fully agree with that. Hold yeah. on to that. Hold on to that. Damn. I know, I know. But uh, I feel like they didn't have that much chemistry going into it. You could kind of see when yeah. they're playing with all the turnovers that were happening. I feel like Joel Embiid is like useless on Team USA. I don't know what he provides because it, he's like fouls. a superstar. I, in my opinion, I think he's a top three to five player in the NBA, mm-hmm. but I feel like the whole offense has to revolve around him in order for him to be effective. And I don't think that is necessary for the other players on the team or stars on the team. I feel like Anthony Davis provides something from a defensive aspect, running down the court, lobs, like uh, effort. Joel Embiid, like, he just is lack, lackadaisical out there, just runs looking for the post and everything mm-hmm. like that. I feel like he's just, like, a normal player in this type of setting. Be right there, everybody else and what they bring to the offense. Like, LeBron, he can be, like, the Draymond Green role. Uh, Embiid's doing his thing playing defense. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, when Kevin Durant comes, he, all, he has, all he does is score, and he fits in in, like, every certain aspect of offenses yeah. in any NBA, like, in, in any yeah. basketball History. Put him on. Put him on a, a piece of wood. He's on, he's in his spot. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and then Stephen Curry creates shots for others and creates shots for his own. He's the greatest shooter ever. Mm-hmm. So I feel like having Joel Embiid out there besides is kind me. of huh? So besides me. Okay. <laughs> 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 All right. <laughs> but yeah, I feel like having Joel Embiid out there is kind of uh, useless. But that's just for the first game. And yeah, I think he fouled out in like 13 minutes. Yeah, of play. It was like 12 or something. Yeah. yeah. I don't even think he knew the fifth foul rule. Loki. I honestly don't. I think he didn't know. You gotta talk about how there. dominant AD was, showing he's the uh, Dude ring chasing second best center in the league. <laughs> Crazy. I'll still give, Crazy I'll still give the first to Jokic, but I, yeah, I think I, he should I definitely think we should start. Talk about that. The fact that how do you guys feel about Joel and B playing for the United? I said States? it was weird off the rip, much. but I mean, I even made the joke that you just made. Best said he's like ring chasing for gold is crazy. Yeah. I saw that on the first thing. I'm like, bro, like. Check, check. Um, check, check. Yeah, I just think it's it's weird. Like I don't know. Like I mean, he is a citizen, right? So I guess he can declare. Yeah. yeah. But um, he's always played for like Cameroon or France, though. You yeah. Know? Like, oh, this is just the first okay. year that he's playing for the USA, which uh, I guess like I don't have a problem with. He's him, been here for like 14 years now. Like you know what I mean? Like the thing is though, like I don't I don't have a problem with him playing for USA, but then people at the same time are trying to say like it's not it's it's like totally normal for him to do that. Like usually players don't do that. Usually players play for the country that they're from. Like, mm-hmm. Rory Markin and plays yeah. for Finland even though he went to Arizona. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? So, yeah. I'm I mean, not, I don't have any issue with it, but I also think that, you know, it's a fair cool. conversation. That's a good point. There's like two fair. mosquitoes. <laughs> Go yeah. for Dave. Uh, <laughs> I do agree with Bez. Like, there's not uh, a huge precedent for somebody, especially from two different countries, to then play for uh, USA. But, yeah, he's been here, like, I guess for the later half of his life now. You know what I mean? Like he's those are still like the most formative years of your life. Yeah. In a lot of in a lot of ways. So, you know, I mean, if he yeah. he, de- he decides he wants to play for the US. I know it's easy gold. But people still want to be gold medalists regardless. It's not like um you know what I mean? I, mean, I guess the people from the US, but it's like no one looks at any US players like, "Oh, if you play for the US, like you just want to go get a free gold." It's just yeah. like you still got to go out there and play for it. I'll give you like the the, the soccer comparison of it as well cuz like a lot of people like they're like if some if in B, if someone as the caliber of level uh, of like basketball player in B did for like soccer switched nations like that, it would be a much bigger like 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 much more bigger like yeah, thing. Yeah. Uh because you don't really get people doing like that over in like soccer but i mean he did it here i guess it, it happened already and it is what it is but in soccer people don't do that like even like like a top five player in like the premier league 
will play for a shit nation when he can go play for England, but he's not doing that. Yeah. <laughs> he's not even in the, yeah. the, 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 like, the tournament right now because he plays for a shit league. Yeah, yeah but like, for like a shit soccer, nation. Soccer is more... Soccer just has been... Shout on, out to um, England. Mm-hmm. It's soccer coming out, blood. Nah, man. Fuck England. Uh, it's <laughs> not just kidding. Um, yeah, fuck him. Soccer has been around, like, and it's been worldwide, and it's been country-based for, like, the longest mm-hmm. time. You get me? Like, I get that there's the Premier League, and then there's, like, other, also mm-hmm. other leagues, but... It's like for the most part, the biggest like the World Cup and everything is like country based. That's like the biggest mm-hmm. thing people rep the countries, and it's been like that forever. But yeah. for basketball, it's like these foreign players still come and just live in the U.S. for their entire lives after they get to the league. You know yep. what I mean? Yeah. So it's like at some point, it's like would you want them to consider themselves Americans? You know what I mean? Like at some point, if they be proud of the country they live in or whatever. It's just because like I, I I get that if he comes in there and he plays there, but like he he played for Cameroon multiple times before. Yeah, That's the only thing. Like if he never played on any other one, and he's like, oh, I'm American, cool. Like I'm also it's yeah, also playing for team right to play for some trash ass niggas too. At the end of the day, like trying yeah. to, you know not trying to be uh, mean to Cameroon or France. Yeah. France has yeah, you some decent link players. Up with Don Maker and go get yeah, him. like <laughs> France ha- France has some good players, but from? they also they're also center heavy. Imagine Joel Wemby and Gobert on the same team. Mm-hmm. And, hey, and can play the three. And, uh, can I can see a tall three. He's a tall three. Richard, Richard Shea and whoever, whoever else. Playing, Are they not? One of them. Oh, I thought I thought one of them was still playing no, for the Killian team. Hayes got cut from the national team. That <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> he does not play out there. He's Man, sorry, Killian. So I get mean, next year. I get if no, Joe wants no to play year. with these dudes. <laughs> you know, it is what it is. Go no, get it, I mean, I, I had the same sentiment as you. Like, if he wants to play for US, let him. But I didn't know that he played for Cameroon before in the past. Or yeah, so like. If he's now just ring chasing now just because of the people that are on the team, it's kind of whack and crazy. But, I mean, yeah. if I if he didn't play on his, his uh, teams before, then I would have been okay with it. But since he's just switching sides, that is kind of crazy. Yeah. Me. I mean, yeah, but he was younger. You know what I mean? Like, what do you mean? Don't he was just a younger dude. He Like, when he was doing Cameroon, he was younger. And then when he was doing France, What's that got to do with your decision now? Decision now? You don't want to play for them. <laughs> <laughs> but you should, if, I mean, if you played for them before, you should play for them now. Loyalty, yeah. But it's the same way, like it's like pride okay, thing. Like, I don't Cameroon, know. Cameroon, like he was Cameroonian and he lived in Cameroon, but like he wasn't. He went to France later in life and then played for France. You get me? I don't even know if he went to France later in life. He just did got he play for France. Citizenship. Did he play for them before? He's or a no? French citizen. Okay. I think he might have. Yeah, he might have played. I think for them. he played. He for wasn't him. like I don't think he's French at all. Like, That's okay. what I'm saying. So what's yeah. the difference? Oh, so if he keeps switching sides, then I'm okay with it. That's what I'm saying. Like he did the same thing with France. He did the same thing with France. Played for one team before. And then he just switched to the U.S. No, nah, I think he's played for both. Oh, okay. As far as I'm concerned, I could be wrong. Somebody might fact check, fact check me. Okay, yeah. Brother, hopping is even I'll, worse. I'll, 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 I mean, got, he's already done it before. France, yeah, got, I was like, <laughs> France got Batum. They got Evan Fournier. Ooh. Obviously, Rudy. Shooters. Frank Nidalekina. Good good one. Good one. Nice. I was going to say good one. I would have helped you out. Victor Wembanyama, obviously. Yeah, it's pretty much there. Bilal Koulibaly. Oh, no, no. I guess he never. He's nice. I guess he never played for France. Oh, but Fr- the French people wanted him to play for France. So there you go, back to hating him. So yeah, he got his, like, he got his citizenship. <laughs> he is a French citizen, also. <laughs> I think it's because I think France like fucking probably. Uh, I'm pretty sure they colonized Cameroon. You know what I mean? So it's just like <laughs> they own Cameroon. You know what I mean? Have their own team. Yeah, they do. He played on Cameroon. I know. I Cameroon remember him team. playing yeah, on Cameroon. Okay, so then he's switching sides. Okay, but I'm saying like the French people wanted him too. Yeah. Okay. But and then they, they and then but then since he left, they're booing him. You get me? It's not. But it's not the fact that he just went to the U.S. or like. Just wanted to switch sides. Is it because they didn't play for them? Like they're just mad. You no, I mean, but they hate I can him. perceive it as him switching sides because he left the team that he was already. Cameroon, playing but on. Cameroon's not even mad. French niggas is the one booing them. Man, they're probably mad too though, because they're you know how much publicity they'll get from Joel. Man, for their is team? he? Is over there playing? Well, where is he playing? I don't know. I'm asking right, if he's no, playing. He's not playing for Team USA, is he? He's playing. Period. Oh, yeah, he's not playing for Team USA. I'm just saying, you know, when you want to go complain to somebody. Yeah. He not even he not even hooping. So who else so is he from Cameroon? Hey man, maybe I mean, maybe he knew Siaka ain't want to play. Japan got yeah, he's like, I'm not gonna go over there by myself, nigga. And Watanabe, Watashi was oh, yeah, stuck. Yeah, Canada has some hoopers, stop. and they they beat them. Canada, they got, yeah, they got shit on. Yeah, Canada was. Didn't Murray play like shit? Dude, Serbia yeah, got eliminated. Yeah, or not Serbia. Uh, uh, what the fuck? Uh, is they didn't qualify? Yeah. yeah. Oh, Greece Slovenia, qualified. Slovenia. Greek qualified for the first time, I think. Greek. Oh, uh, Giannis. Puerto Rico, too. Oh. I remember seeing what's his name. Oh, um. Jose Alvarado. Jose Alvarado. It's funny. So it's Slovenia, from Slovenia, didn't, they got <laughs> yeah. eliminated by Giannis in Greece, bro. Did you guys not see that? Yeah, so it's Slovenia. Giannis. Yeah. What about his, his bros? The the three, it's basically the all of them. Bro. They're all there. It's literally there. The big three. 
finesse. It's just big me. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, none of these teams compare. Like some of these. I mean, like I said, France is probably the closest. Same with Canada. Australia got some Canada's decent players. Yeah. Spain is always decent. Where's Luca? Spain <laughs> yeah. got some decent players too. This team sucks. At least he has pride. Luca should want to go he play. He could have played in Team USA too. Honestly, right? South Sudan is in here. here. He's way younger though. Are you, are you, by, matter. He's allowing by law, yeah, but that's like boof. He, he'd never do it though. Yeah, it's because it's in a million years he has pride. People like that. Back to the soccer thing. Didn't he go to in Real Madrid? You know what I'm saying? Didn't he go to college here? Uh, yeah, he yeah, went to Kansas. one year. Just uh, to so make I mean, a damn he, he, But he's been here for like a while. Yeah, but he has no pride for his country. He's playing for okay, the US. Okay, he's been here for a long time. His time. entire childhood was in a different continent. Like, yeah, come on. No, man. okay, that's like 12, like not 12, like 16. He so moved here when he was 16. <laughs> gold medal gold chasing. chasing. Medal chasing. Term, if, I grew up, <laughs> if I grew up in Russia until I was 16 years old, I would claim <laughs> Russia. Like, like you know Luka, right? Yeah. Luka was even younger. He was like 15 when he like basically came. He never played on Team USA, ever. Yeah. He'd rather go down with this team and not qualify. Like a he, real exactly, man. he did that. The right pride, now, the, like passion, the, like passion, the passion, the passion. He'd rather lose. Uh, yeah, but um, since we have so many stars on Team USA, I wanted to ask you guys. Me and Amari talked about it before. But who do you think should start on the mm. roster when they actually play the games? LeBron. They already announced the starters. But that was, I was for... Uh, one game. This wasn't... This Just was like game? an exhibition. That we should go in order. I think they're going to go in order. All right. But. Omar, you go first. Mm. <laughs> you want to see? Right, yes, food in his mouth. You can go first. Okay. I just the said Gabe, the Gabe Death Squad. <laughs> oh my god, this is like one of those like cool edit TikToks. No, I'm kidding. Anyway, I want I want to see Curry on the floor. I want to see Edwards on the floor. I want to see LeBron on the floor. I want to see AD on the floor. Hmm. <laughs> I want to see KD. Yeah. No. Yeah. 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 KD. Move AD to the five. Done. Death squad, death lineup, right there. Mm, Fuck okay. Jason Tatum. I still I'm Four. kidding. Oh, let's <laughs> kidding. I definitely have Steph. Steph at the one. LeBron needs to be there. I mean, the only other point guard they have is Tyrese Halliburton. So Drew Holiday too. Yeah. Uh, he's more of like a two guard to me. He's there. I he's like there. him. I he's like there. him starting in the exhibition game. Yeah, he was good. He's he not. Good. He's not the best option, you know. Uh, KD needs to be there. 100. Yeah, these guys are like Bron, KD, top 15, Steph. 20 all time. So you need to have them starting. Ron, KD, and Steph are the starting like, no matter what. There's no yeah. way they're not. And then Anthony right. Davis, I think he can play a lot of positions or help them so mu- in so many aspects. So that's four people. Yeah. So Wait, Steph, Braun, KD, AD. Facts. And then I have Joel Embiid because he's tough. Disgusting. That's an awful lineup. <laughs> Go back to Camarillo. Ruin the host. So big, right? Ruin the host here, man. Whoa! <laughs> not, not a game reference. Yeah, but uh, I think that's the best. In terms of talent. That's the best starting lineup. Yeah, I'm go. not going for that. I don't think talent matters. We literally have the best team by far. Like, mm. it's not even close. So, Fit. I'm going to go Fit. I'm going to go Steph sure. Curry, mm. Drew Holiday. Mm. Um, at the three, give me give me Anthony Edwards. I want him to start. I like that. And then give me LeBron. And I, would, I think Davis no, has to I go think, there. I don't know. I'm kind of think I want AD to come off the bench because I don't want him to play too much. I don't want him to Man. come in the season like <laughs> too 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 many minutes. Even though I think he fits better, mm-hmm. I'm gonna probably say Joel can keep starting. Even though I don't know, I feel like he need, he he's better. Maybe he can come off the bench and kind of be the main score off that lineup and start Bam instead or start AD instead. I'd rather have AD play the four though, but you I might guess start them both. I get. I guess give me give me Bam actually. Fuck that. So give me <laughs> nice. Steph. Give me Steph, Drew, Anthony Edwards, LeBron, and Bam. What does Edwards get to you? Just scoring? He's their be- I think he's their best shooting guard. I think Devin Booker Actually, is best shooting guard. No, well, in terms of fit mm, also. I don't Devin know. More consistent, Not so. anymore. He is. I feel like Anthony Edwards gives you energy He's the number off the one bench. option, bro. He said himself. <laughs> Brown. But yeah, I feel like Anthony Edwards gives you, gives you offense off the bench and energy. Mm. I feel like Devin Booker could give you offense <laughs> off the yeah. bench. He's kind of like nonchalant, though. Like, he'll just be there type of – and he's a better, like – Starter, starting off the game, he scores. More I like points. the I like the defensive lineup that because Steph is I mean Steph is oh, whatever Steph it doesn't matter about defense. They got Drew yeah. Holiday, they got Ant, LeBron, like and then either Bam or Joel and B. That's a great defensive lineup. I yeah, feel like I don't play defense anymore either, bro. Exactly, yeah, do, so, bro. Yeah, but he's still yeah. Braun, but he's six nine, like athletic. You know, like he plays defense, bro. He does not. Play he's not gonna play defense, defense in Olympics, bro. Yeah, yeah. he plays defense. Like he's it's not fucking. He can't do no you don't have to lock down. It's not lock down. Fucking you're not getting 2013 Braun, but you're getting some. Yeah, all right. Say your lineup then. Me? Oh. Uh, Steph, for sure. Like I said, Steph, Braun, got to go KD. Um, the last two is obviously where it's, like, the hardest because I want AD to start, but I think that the dynamic of Bam and AD was, like, so crazy 
that like I would want both of them to start, but that lineup necessarily wouldn't work because it's just like the perimeter defense may not be all the way there because you're like two forwards are now you're not even two forwards like shooting guard and, and small forward would be KD and, and LeBron. You get me? And then it would be Steph. Big. So it'd be like a weird. I don't know. I feel like the lineup would just be like weird. I'm changing my lineup actually. I got Steph, Drew, Anthony Edwards, KD, and Joel and B. LeBron could come off the bench. That's not happening. No, that's not happening. Yeah. He, he sh- he's old as fuck. You can he's come not, off the bench. Nah, he's not. Mature, he'll right. Literally never. Yeah, like never in one trillion years. Dude, I'm sure he'd be fine with, with LeBron James. Like, yeah. He probably will. He probably, he probably will, will like in an right exhibition right. game or something. But start the Olympics. I wouldn't be surprised if he come up, comes off the bench next game. I'm not. He'd be lie. hurt. He no, in next game. Straight up. He doesn't. Do, why would he be hurt? No, he doesn't. Like, like, LeBron it, James, it, you're benching LeBron James. If it's well, you're not. You're not benching him from a scrub. Bro, you're you're like, benching him yeah. for Kevin Durant. Like, but I mean, uh, he's going about KD. No, he, I'm better it's because like, of who he is and like the attention that he brings. And even then, like he doesn't have that big of he'll never be benched. He does have a big. No, he does. No, he doesn't. When does he ever have a big ego? That he doesn't. No, nah, I think, but I think it's what, like what shows you that he does have a big ego that he's gonna get. He's upset. been the guy since 18 years old. Okay, but this is Olympics. So he he's, oh, he's not like he's come off the bench for the Lakers. He's come off the bench for the Olympic team. But he's like. never slowed down either. I mean, he slowed yeah. down like, but he's nah, never but like tremendously slowed down to the point where he shouldn't be starting on the Olympic team. That's why he's I don't, the biggest I'm name saying, on your roster like, in terms of keeping benching the biggest name on your roster is crazy. Bro. That's why I don't think it's an ego thing because I'd understand. I'd say it's an ego thing if like he was significantly declined. And then he was still like, no, 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 I yeah. can't do it. But like, he's st- he is still playing at the same level, if not better than than KD and other people. Like, even the the younger people on his team, he's still like, in some ways, statistically playing better than a lot of these people. So it's yeah. just like, he deserves to start. And I don't think that he like, I don't think him not wanting to start would just mean oh he has a big ego. It's just like he knows what he's bringing to it's the like team. There's too much, too many like other factors in terms of media attention, like. You're gonna have FS1 and freaking Skip Bayless talking about how LeBron James. <laughs> Who cares about yeah, that, I mean that, that matters because like, like, it brings in. Like, if, yeah, I'm it just. Did. It's not only gonna be them. It's gonna be every network, and that brings in Dude, like LeBron negative chemistry. Fuck, bro. But it, it brings in negative chemistry for the team. In they total. don't look at that shit. I promise. They do. You. Everybody's no, on the know. internet, bro. Yeah. I, I yeah, promise minus, you, they see everything. Okay, but you think Anthony Edwards be like minus five percent team chemistry? No, they're not. They see it. Is my point. No matter what, every, I think everybody sees it. Okay, even if they see it, I guarantee you it's not gonna affect them. Like they're 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 there for a bigger. And they're goal. gonna ask him too. Ask him. Okay, the, the reporters ask stupid questions all the time. Okay, well, I'm just saying it's just gonna bring negativity towards I the team when they don't I need guarantee it. Look, if like, anyone can handle it, it's LeBron James. Like I'm not. Okay, really but it's not just about, LeBron. It's about everybody on the team too. What are they gonna ask them? Oh, are you okay with How LeBron do you feel? sitting? Yeah. And they're gonna be like, whatever the coach says. That's yeah. The exact all right, keep it pushing. Right. I think this is barely a chance. Negative. Like like I said, he may come off the bench one of these exhibition games but come start the the actual like qualifying and seeding games like he's not gonna come off I the hope bench. he comes off the bench and just to prove to prove Hudson wrong <laughs> <laughs> let's see alright what was your question Gabe oh I have a question this is I just thought of this on the spot basically uh, you're gonna choose the big three past and present so presence obviously you got LeBron James Curry and Kevin Durant and the past is Michael Jordan, Magic Johnson, and Larry Bird. This is a very good c- a comparison, saying, in my opinion. I'm past. This because no, 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 let me finish. Let me finish the question. <laughs> hey, go ahead. This is very good because all these players are roughly in, like, you know, talked about the same as Magic to Curry, KD to Bird, and LeBron to Michael Jordan. So I just want to see where you guys think, you know, who you guys would pick, who's cooler, who's better, you know what I'm saying? Should we think about the future, too? What three future Ooh. guys? Basically, like, prime? Oh, like, next? Ooh. No, hell, they're not getting picked. Like, like next way. up? Yeah. You were going to say Anthony Edwards? Like, it already disqualifies them. It's it would be Cal- like, it yeah. would be like, oh God, I don't want to say Tatum's name. <laughs> Edwards, Tatum, and who else? Luca. Shea. I don't know. He's not even from He's the He's not even, yeah. God damn it. Um, Luke, Jalen wait, Brunson? Yeah, Nobody. Years. Like, Jalen Brunson's the best guy. <laughs> Damian <laughs> Lillard? No, Tyrese he was like 4 like, yeah. What the fuck? I, I guess oh, man. All right. Well, the well, future the future guys lost. The future guys. talking about only Americans? Americans, like big three. Like the young guys. Yeah, give me, are we talking about in their prime or just like right now? Because I'm not, I'm taking. Past easily if we're talking forty year old Braun. Pick, pick their primes. Pick their primes. I'm taking primes. Pick their primes. So it's prime fair for present. both. Pick their primes. Okay, prime so again. It's LeBron, Steph, and KD versus Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, and Magic Johnson. I like this one because they're like you know what people discuss about all, all the time. I'm taking LeBron, I'm, Steph, and KD yeah. because of like fit together mm. in the three v three setting. They have the best. Well, offense. it depends what era are we playing in back then or Ooh, right now. This is good. This is a good question. We're playing back then, it's different. I would place. I would place it. Your answer will change. Yeah, I would place this. I would place this different. theoretical game in the mid two thousands, early two thousands. So it's kind of not far off from both of them, That's but it's 
So it would be like in fair ground, you know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, three's more than two. Yeah. Yeah. Give me Bron, bro. Give me Bron's team. Yeah, I'm taking Bron's team. I'm going to pick Bron's team, too. I mean, all I, I think they just could. I, I think, I think the, the letdown is Bird's athleticism and Magic's like inability nah, to shoot. that don't matter. Bird was cold as fuck. <laughs> of course, of course, but... If like, well, Ma- if Magic can't shoot, that is a problem. But That's he, what I'm I mean, saying. He's not even Play that me. bad. He's just not. Too. Jordan can't shoot either. Yeah. Who are you taking tomorrow? Uh, I don't even have to ask you. Yeah. <laughs> you already know. Right. This is a cool thing. I just I'll thought of this when we were talking about the Olympics. Because I, I remember, do you guys remember Good the photo? Question. It's like Magic Bird and uh, Jordan sitting like posed next to each other. Mm. I just thought like of Curry, Jordan, uh, Curry, LeBron, and KD just now. Yeah. Good question. Yeah. The, I don't know if y'all saw. Didn't Bron- they take a picture? Bronny put up some photos. Oh, yeah, like today. What he put up? Don't say it. Oh god. Hold on. It was like 0 for 13. I saw Stat Bez. He's 0 for like 13 in the summer league from three and well, averaging like 20 percent field goal percentage. Hey, but he boxed the leave center alone, up. Man, leave him alone. <laughs> yeah, he, he had a dunk today. He had a dunk. The second round pick for a reason. So. I mean, yeah, you, you shouldn't expect like. Uh, yeah, like I'll tell you. Three, three of 14, 0 of 8 from three. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Eight points, five rebounds. Hey, points. you'll get there, King. You'll get there. Go. No, right? connect. Yeah, 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 yeah. He's been playing good for two games. Sorry. Can I get a 25? Who cares? He's a second round pick. So but why is he taking so many connect? shots? Oh, no, no, I'm saying. Because they want him to. They want to be aggressive. I guess prove who you are. Our summer league team is ass. That's why, Yeah, there's nobody like Is it Maxwell Lewis like our second best player? Yeah. Yeah. I remember when we got him, I watched his highlights. Hopefully, he actually plays a little bit this year. It's so annoying watching Cam Whitmore just shit on us. I don't even know why he's still playing. He literally got the MVP last year. Let's talk about Shepard. Shepard's a dog. Yeah, Probably, yeah. Nice. Who's Shepard? Reed, Reed, Reed Shepard. Shepard's a dog. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sterling. He's yeah. nice. I know his guys' ankles yeah, crossed. It doesn't matter. That was a highlight. But, like, no, because yeah. the Pacers Pacers got the a Shepard, too. the most polished too. guy uh, in the NBA draft, I think. Who? That was their put. Reed Shepard. I think Reed Shepard's going to be the best player in the draft if I had to choose now. That's crazy. I mean, we'll see. We'll see after the season. It looks like elite TJ McConnell. He's, he's really yeah. good. He's a good shooter. Yeah. I was going to say Steph Curry with the 40-inch vert. <laughs> Forgot about that. Alonzo Ball. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm not like this. This year's rookies are a little underwhelming. Like I'm not saying none of them are going to be good. Obviously, they're going to be some good players. But like I don't see like any of them. I'm like, oh yeah, I need to watch this dude Bro, play. I think I saw a tweet today where someone said Bronny's getting more attention than the number one overall. Yeah, who, who's the, what's the number one guy's oh name God, again? Yeah. What's the number one guy's name again? <laughs> see, you don't even know. I don't even know. Risha Shusher. <laughs> I can't pronounce it. Has he even played a game yet? Hey, play today. Yeah. What do you get? Like Wemby was points. like super hyped. He played oh. good. They played together. A number one pick. Very Sauer nice. Versus the second pick. Bro, Wemby played. I didn't even care like that. Wemby played Jokic today, bro. 18 points, five rebounds. I, oh, yeah, huh? Yeah, Wemby played Jokic. Apparently, Jokic had more points than him and Gobert combined. No, Alexander <laughs> Saar had an awful game, too. Four of 12. Damn. 12? 12? And you're oh. that? You're oh, like what? Uh, he had four blocks, though. Okay. So. The second That's what pick. You're, there for. Yeah. you're a second pick. Second pick for four blocks. We'll take it. We'll take it. Oh, I had one more Olympic. No criticisms there. That I wanted to talk about. Uh, you know, Kawhi Leonard being pulled. Good job oh, by the Clippers. No, hold on. Let's talk about that, bro. Yeah. You want to talk about that? Why the fuck did he show for picture day and then just dip? Like, what was the <laughs> point of that? Just don't I hate this I don't understand why you showed up to take pictures, acted like you were going to play if you knew the first t- the first second that you were on the court, your knee was going to explode. He left Costa Rica to come take a flick and go, bro. Come on. <laughs> so, bro, what is I guess, he doing? I guess crazy. the Clippers pulled him. This but, was uh, the vacation. Yeah. I mean, they sh- he shouldn't have played in the first place because he does have terrible injury history. So. Yeah. What's the Retire, point of playing, buddy. But Call it a day. If he's cooked, though. If, if if he's already this bad, like, they just started practicing. And you think they, he, was, he performed bad? Dude, they're, clearly they probably see something. Really sore. They probably saw something that was like, oh, shit, he might. Like, he yeah, just doesn't yeah. look that great. So they pulled him. Like, I can only imagine when he got to play 82-game yeah, season. Ty Lue's like, there, too. I think he's an assistant coach. So Yeah, he is. Like, ah, yeah. The Clippers <laughs> are cooked him. anyway. Like, it's over for them. Really? I, yeah. I think they have a good chance. They might be on to my do winner what? or loser list. That's a good segue. That's a good segue. Wait, wait, wait. They have a good chance to do what, though? Make the playoffs. Fight for the play-in. Okay, well, that's it. You're yeah, tripping. They're gonna be fighting. There's a lot for the of teams that they're gonna make be the playing. playing. <laughs> <laughs> they, <laughs> they might not make the playoffs. They might not. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. If Kawhi they're misses gonna be, any significant amount of time, they're gonna be like over. nine or ten. I promise. Playoff or prime Harden back in the oh, hell. Oh, 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 oh Jesus. How old is Harden? Harden and Westbrook. Harden and Westbrook. Westbrook's going to Denver. Like it's 2018. Yeah, that was a good video. Westbrook's not even gonna be there. They're trying to trade him. Might trade him. Yeah. Send him to the Nuggets. Anyway, yeah. Back to that Kawhi conversation. Yeah. Him leaving the team and Derek White being the replacement. Do you think other players got snubbed? And if so, it's just Jalen so? Brown. And it's obviously he was mad about it. He was tweeting about it. He's like, I see how it is. Nike, mm-hmm. you know, they have a whole beef with him going on because he called him out earlier in the year about, I think, some ad or something, something yeah. controversial. And I think that's why people are saying that's part of the reason he didn't mm-hmm. get selected. I mean, um, clearly, was... clearly he was like in contention. He should have been on the team in my yeah. opinion. He's the finals but, MVP, as we all know. Like, yeah, come on, like, bro. Yeah. Yeah. Coming off. You know, SB's a one of the best like, two A players. 
like they already got Drew for Drew and like like and then Derek like, White like bro and, and there's only there's Derek only White, two non Nike like, athletes on Team USA which is Ant with Adidas and, and Curry. Steph Curry with Under Armour mm. like and I didn't even know that yeah everyone else is Nike so it's like you know a little bit of politics a little involved. sus a little yeah, sus huh? involved no Mitchell either and he could have been on the team that's another a- right. player Mitchell's a great pick but yeah it's it's just weird like but yeah when like, it comes for fit it's just like he, since he's one of the best two way players in the league it's just like yeah. while you go get Derek White who's literally just like him but worse you I feel like I mean? Derek White's a better like team fit he's a gadget he's guy. a better but hustle gadget and like Jalen like, Brown is good enough to he's good enough too it's, it's like if Derek White's a 9 out of 10 in those categories De- De- Jalen Brown's like an 8 8.25 like he's right there he's not okay, like significantly so for worse a team with so many stars on their roster who do you think will impact the game more he doesn't have to do a lot he's like do you listen to did you hear what I said no, yeah, but I think Jalen Brown. Would, like I think Jalen Brown would have bought in. Yeah. yeah, like he seemed like he wanted to be on the team. So yeah, I, I think like he would have bought, bought in too. In. But who do you think will impact the uh, the game? Well, if Brown. Jalen Brown's bought in, he will impact yeah. the game more. I think so. Yeah, yeah. With this roster. The only thing it goes is, back to my like my point with Joel and B just being there because he's he only can do one thing. So he just looks. It's weird because I, if you have what That's it, I feel like Jalen Brown would. Come I have out. a weird thing about like this overflowing of offense. Obviously, these are the best players in America. I'm not saying nothing, but it's like I feel like a guy like Derek White, Drew Holiday. Who are not primarily scorers and do everything else at an elite level are good for the team. That's why I guess Derek White. You can make the argument for this. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, but Jalen Brown's obviously a better player. But I guess in terms of what they're trying to do, they could just plug and play someone else. Derek White's a perfect pick. I mean, if we're gonna keep it a stack, it's not even to Jalen Brown. Like you could have named like five. Of you can name like five or six of them. Yeah. Paul George. Uh, I like Paul George. Paul George. PG. You know. Does everything. They're solid. saying it's because America don't like Brown. They like White. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's a good it. bar right there. Facts. Yeah, Kyrie, no. Kyrie should oh, be playing. Kyrie, been Kyrie should be so playing. He's there for just. Oh like, hell no, they ain't letting go. him yeah, go. Exactly, but he should yeah. be playing. But yeah, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, maybe. So you think it's just mainly politics as to why? It it, make I think it? it could be Nike politics. It, I don't really very know. Well, could it could be, be a little well, bit of be. both, a little bit of two different. I don't really know exactly. I'm not behind the scenes. I think the Nike thing played a part in it. I don't know if it was the entire reason, but. Who knows? Yeah, because Kawhi Leonard's a New Balance athlete, so I mean, oh, right. he's well, Yeah, not anymore, I guess. Yeah. Maybe they, they kicked him out because he was that New Balance. Too. <laughs> <laughs> that too. Um, yeah, but I, I feel like I would like to see Kyrie would have been a good option. Paul Donovan George. Mitchell's a good one. This would have been, been, been Kyrie's last one too, right? Four years later, he would have been yeah, like, 37? Yeah, yeah he's not all their last ones. I mean, yeah. In terms of like KD. Yeah, in terms of all the big three. All, yeah. yeah, they're not yeah. going to play. Maybe KD will play because all he does is play basketball. So. Nah, he not. He gonna. might. Practice yeah. in Because Melo played when he was old too. <laughs> Remember they got Melo in like the... He's not going until he's 39, man. Who? Yeah. KD. Could. Kevin Love was playing. This dude too, don't have a wife. You don't have kids. KD's, all you have is ball, bro. The, yeah. thing, the thing with KD is... For the love of the game. That's crazy. That's like, so funny. As far as like longevity stats go, KD's like up there too. Like as like the next who can comparable to like longevity. How old is he? 36, 35. So he's, he's not 40, 40 maybe. 40. He can just but he's averaging 30 when he's this old. Like, it's, it's crazy. I don't think yeah. he wants to. Another four years? You don't think he'll want to play? I know he Bron might. won't. Curry won't. No, sure. Bron said he's definitely not going to Bron's going to send Bron in his place. He'll have a placeholder ready for Bron. You seen the graphic? Yeah, I did. They asked him if he's going to play in 2028. I will not be there. Yeah, but those are the only names I could think of. That would be crazy. He came out of retirement for the Olympics. No, he's done after this. After they win. He might play three, though. Huh? He said he might play three just to get to the Bryce level. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that isn't it two more years until he's there? Bryce? Well, yeah. Call Brandon. That's what I'm again. saying. Like, he'll need he a third year. Three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shoot, you never know. Where's Zion, bro? Get him in the Olympics. <laughs> oh, brother. He could nah, play dude. in the, the USA. <laughs> they are doing that. Nah, get John Moran no on that. You talk about. Oh, man. Jump out of the gym. That would be good. Yeah. yeah, why is John Moran on the team? He would have dunked. He would have jumped over someone like Vince Carter for sure. He was done for what he did, but I'm like. Obviously, the gun thing plays. Now it's like, come on, come yeah, on. He hasn't. He has to, that's that. exact American values. Don't you want him on the roster? <laughs> yeah, he America. exemplifies America to its core. <laughs> Man, Man, I miss, I miss John Moran playing this, bro. cases in Paris, so he doesn't come back. <laughs> Just there for like a long time. <laughs> him, I can't wait him for his nine. Oh, speaking of John, I can't wait for him to play again. I actually miss his game. No, yeah, he's elite, bro. JJ looking stressed out from all the <laughs> fucking coaching stuff. Yeah. All right, you want to? <laughs> we got cooked today. <laughs> we getting getting cooked every day. We suck. Yo, our team is cooked. Do you remember Omari. Prime Summer League, Bez? Remember Prime what? Summer League with Josh Hart, Lonzo Kuzma? Oh, that man. was like a and Bi played like a game. Oh my god, no, dude. No, no. Like got a, didn't you guys? Didn't you guys win the chip? I think. What? Yeah, yeah, we got yeah, MVP. We and then Josh Hart came MVP. back next year and won MVP. Omari got to go off on the Lakers. How we didn't do shit. Oh yeah, Omari, talk to me oh, about brother. our Lakers. It's like, come on, dude. Like I remember, I I forgot what tweet Twitter page it is on uh. On Twitter, but um, <laughs> it's like 
it was just like day he put like day one of Rob Watch after like the free agency started, like, and I don't know what day we're on. Has got to be like fifteen of no, like we're the last we're the last team in the entire league to not make a trade or a signing. It's just like you would think that we had glaring holes that they would want to address as soon as possible. I don't know if it's the Lakers tax. I don't know if Rob is disliked. I don't know if niggas just don't like his face or the way he <laughs> talks or something. Like, it's funny because Brown took a, was they don't want to play was, Brown Brown was literally going to take less money if you could have got anybody. Couldn't got any. Couldn't get anybody. It's just like I don't understand what's going on. It's like Rob has escaped accountability for so long, blaming it on the coaches or LeBron. It's just at what point is Genie going to be like, yo? I mean, this year, right? If you guys can win it's game. like, but yeah, but it's. We know we're not going to, like, you know, unless it's a miracle happens. It was two years unless, ago, you guys made it to the conference finals, and he was a big part of getting players in the Westbrook trade. And yeah. He yeah, but he was also a big part in the Westbrook trade. So, it's just like. He made up fixed for it, though. though. He fixed it. Yeah. Fixed it a little bit, but yeah, he did a good job of, of turning it around. And then Darvin Ham was blamed. Darvin for Ham, well. that was, I mean. So, he took the brunt. Darvin Ham is a big part to blame, but it's like, it's also the, to blame whoever hired him. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, true. Like it's still part of his job to find to to take interviews, yeah, to yeah. find the best candidate for a job. Like, how did you look at Darvin Ham and be like, uh, took like, you to the conference finals? This the dude, I so that's he why. he was a part he of did. the thing, Hassan. Yeah, yeah, I know yeah, he was I'm there. I'm like, saying he is. I think the I like genius the of LeBron James. Everything on him. The genius of LeBron James and Anthony Davis took them to the conference finals. Yeah, I mean, players for uh, sure helped that. But, but you know, I think that. Him just being so inactive, it, not even just this, what's it called, by the trade deadline, too. Literally, the whole reason, like, the only reason people didn't go off on him harder during the trade deadline is because he was like, oh, you know, we're waiting to keep our assets so we could gain uh, another pick and be able to trade in the offseason. And then here comes the offseason, and what do we get? None. I don't think people like dealing with the Lakers in general, Lamar. Yeah, Other teams will do it. like fair team deals with each other. Like the yeah, GMs so will talk, I mean, they'll get down to it. That is frustrating. They'll do but... favors. You know what I'm saying? Uh, shit like that doesn't happen for the Lakers often. Like it just doesn't. What do you mean? You got that the stars all the but... time. Okay, They're let's talk about stars. Let's talk about signings. stars. Let's talk about stars. Talk about it. Other, other than LeBron James and free agency. We yeah, traded Anthony for Davis. Davis. That's a trade. Like, yeah. Okay. What about before LeBron? We don't get we, we like like Laker like I don't think well, you this guys are taking before the here's the, here's the question here's the thing you understand everyone thinks LA gets stars in, from the like from 2016 days what have we really got you guys are tanking you guys are rebuilding all right oh, but so like but dude it's just come to a rebuilding you're I mean. part of the but thing still. where people just think oh he's gonna like you know you know this trend on on Twitter he's gonna be in a Laker he's already a Laker yeah. he's already in LA <laughs> that like I don't know okay, if you're bought into like people that do not want to come to LA. Bro, the, but like but I said, going I was to the a Clippers. part of that narrative too. I people, well, people want to go to LA. But they how keep going to the Clippers. They keep we haven't got the Rose, we haven't got PG, we didn't get Kawhi. All these times, Harden. It's not a better fit for them. Harden. You're not, you're it not is. And that's the dumb contract. part. The dumb part is it's a right, much who? better team. Rose is the better fit for the Lakers. No, what I'm, I'm, trying, no I'm talking about the other people. Yeah, other everybody who? else. Name them. Paul George, Kawhi Leonard, Harden has been a better fit. We can't give Paul George. I'm talking about all time, bro. Like free agency wise in LA, we don't get what you think we get. Clippers Kawhi was supposed George. to go to L.A. That was like the whole scandal when he ended up going to the Clippers. People were laughing at L.A. Okay, because like, oh, do I don't think people like to gonna, I don't think people like like I guess like the, the top of the upper tier like the management or how people are right. how it's run. I don't you're think they talking, do. Like you're not making any sense with your argument. Bro, that isn't no, why people. Listen, you can't I, afford these guys or it's not a good fit, dude. Right yes, it, like, like, it is a good fit. Everybody, bro. You act like you act like Lakers have infinite money. Why don't they splash infinite money on every year? Like when did I say that? No, I'm saying you act like like they don't like just do that every year. Like, bro, what when we were tanking, and then the days after Braun, before we got AD to give him contracts, we had bread to spend, but we, people weren't coming. Yeah, no one's coming to a rebuilding team, though. Bro, LeBron was there for five. He's been there for six years. LeBron We've gotten got free agents when he was here. It's just to this year we haven't gotten any. He's talking about like max players. Talking, that I'm like talking big about like, stars, like, like from the past like ten that. years. Bro, the new the CBA doesn't years. even allow that unless exactly. the only way we would get a max player is if we if he was on our team originally we can resign him. But, but it's even, no, even we already have AD and LeBron. You can't acquire another max contract without having to do the fucking Phoenix Suns thing I'm, and surround the whole exactly. team with I'm bums. I'm talking about the past. We tried that with Russell Westbrook and it was ass. He was making forty mil. That's a star, right? Like you're acting like no. My whole point is that you guys are acting like people don't want to come. To LA, when that's just they like, brother, I've the been Clippers. in the I've been in the LA uh, the trenches from oh he's like all these things all these rumors well, people gonna Sacker. come to LA people don't come to LA and like 
That's just not true. This year they didn't, but which I get it. It was bad. I'm this talking year, about bigger like, stars in the past 15 years. Bad. Okay, 15 years. Let's go back in time. When why? were all the reports saying the Rose managed. and Paul George, all these no, things, all these people gonna come? They didn't. Right? Years, is LeBron and AD building. not big enough stars? No, no. Like, other, dude, other, LeBron is the biggest other star in the game. Other than a trade for Anthony Davis and a signing of LeBron, like legit the goat of all time, coming to LA to have his family. Expect no one else has come to the Lakers in the past 10, 15 years. Okay. What were you guys doing before it was James? old ass Kobe. Who's going to exactly. join old ass Kobe? It, oh, right up after guys, 2016. Guys, you guys are building up from the draft. Who's okay, talking about 2016. Huh? No, who's going to do that? Who's going to join the team? Four fucking, building? like, damn near starved level players. Uh, who's who's going to go to the Lakers and developing? play with, like, 20 year old Julius Randle and yeah. Randle, like, Ingram, Lonzo, 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 Lonz
that Le- like, Le- Le- LeBron, LeBron is right. Eight. Yes. Yeah, because he's yeah. LeBron so maybe coming without Brown. We're talking about like nobody else wants to play if on Laker, Lakers. If Lakers make the trade AD. for the four for the three young yes. guys in the picks, is AD gonna be a Laker? Yes or no? Hundred percent. You think so? Yes. You think so? If, if they're the Cavs, LeBron's out there. If LeBron's out there, dude, he was saying, I'm only going to the Lakers next season. You trade me now because LeBron literally LeBron was there. LeBron is there. He didn't play because LeBron. Why would AD go to the Lakers with fucking Lonzo Ball and Julius Randle? I just asked that. You guys said yes just now. I just asked. Is LeBron going? Is AD going without LeBron in LA for the same players? If they traded them. Yeah, he would accept it 100 percent because of Los Angeles. He, like he, but he didn't you just say, didn't you say nobody would, wants to play with yeah, the Lakers? Yeah, the Pelicans would take the trade too. Why oh not? You, you're saying, they made the trade but you just said, you just said oh, he would want to go to LA without LeBron. LeBron. Yes. yes, he would want to go to LA without LeBron. Every single player in the NBA wants to go to LA. Maybe he wouldn't sign there. You say this again? Didn't you just you just contradicted yourself? You just contradicted yourself. What? How? Because you just said, okay, you just said AD would have. Oh, he would have been fine going to that team if they would have traded. 100. percent But you just said no stars wants to go play with role players. If you have the choice, yeah. If you have the choice to sign there as a free agent. Probably would would not because but if they're like, we're the going to trade to the Lakers, it's like, I'm in. You if know I'm Kevin I mean? Durant and I'm at, like, but he would just I'm in the prime of my career, there? why would I go play with some scrubs? Not scrubs, but a rebuilding team that has no chance of winning a championship. Exactly. Why would I do that? It's the same thing for AD. If it was, it's a trade, though, not a, not a, a sign of free agent. But he would have still. <laughs> That's even worse. Okay, he would have accepted the trade. He would have accepted the trade. He would have been like, yeah, I'm down. He wouldn't have said, hell no, I'm not going to the Lakers. Did he have no trade clause? No, oh, that's not okay, a choice. It, it doesn't matter. He, no, he, would, he would have accepted it, though. He wouldn't have said, like, try to, like, say, oh, no. sit out. Fuck, he's a player on the Pelicans. The Pelicans got to accept, not him. He yeah, there's like, because he was on the last you think year. He'd be with happy yeah, he was on the last year. With contract. He was gonna walk to the team that he got traded to if he didn't want to be there. Really? Yes. So he wouldn't go to a contending team, not a rebuilding team. The Lakers without Brown would have been a con- uh, rebuilding team. Yes. Ad would want to go to a contending team, right? Not the Lakers. So he would go somewhere else. But he, okay, but this is the right? obviously he's gonna be there because LeBron James. Brother, is there, okay. I keep well, our, like our okay. Main, so some a, a scenario that did happen. A scenario that did happen. Uh, Kawhi Leonard was he, he was supposed to be a Laker. I want to the, the perfect example is Kawhi, a star yeah, level player who was supposed to be a Laker, as everybody thought, went to the Clippers. Because he didn't want to play to the three fiddle, third fiddle to AD and LeBron. Exactly. This was no, no, brother. This was this was, was pre AD. I got no, it. Was not. I got it. Wasn't. No, it was not. No, it was not. No, it was not. Hell, exactly. Because it was on a Spurs. It was, Spurs. It was bum- yeah. Hold on, hold on, hold on. He was two teams away from where he is now. Ain't no damn way. 2019, Anthony Davis was on the Lakers. The year LeBron was on the Lakers, Kawhi won the championship in Toronto. brother. There's no way he was thinking about. He was thinking about the Lakers on the Spurs before we got LeBron. If anything, this is a better like. They were supposed to come together. Bi, Julius Randle, D'Lo were all like. Three four years better than they were on the Lakers, and like had a chance of like, oh, this team could actually have a chance of winning a championship. Hundred percent, AD would have joined. Like, all these guys would join the Lakers. That's a scenario. You said these guys four years later. Yeah, because all rebuilding. those guys. Let me tell you. Let if me these talk. These guys are three let four talk. years in their prime or something. That, can, like that. that can't work. That doesn't you know make why sense. That can't work. That's a, you uh, know why that can't work because those type of players flourished outside and not playing together. They can't flourish to that type of level. All playing together and all needing to like flourish. They can't do that. That's not happening. They all would play better in different roles and different okay, systems. Take those guys out of the, out of the team. If a, if the Lakers were a team that had a chance of contending and had a young guys that all meshed well together, every free agent in the NBA would join that team. Especially if they don't have a number one option. Okay, like, that's the dumb. only reason pe- like stars have not wanted to come here is because we've already had stars that were better than them. Like Contest. multiple stars sometimes too. Like no one's gonna come join Kobe and Powell and be like, I'm gonna be third option <laughs> yeah. unless they're a role player. No one's gonna join LeBron and AD and be like, I'm a, a superstar player. If we're talking superstar players, sure, we've got role players over the years, so it's not like we get nobody. But no superstar wants to come play third fiddle ever. Why would they do that? Okay, it's not even about playing third fiddle, dude. It's just like these people. Like there was that that long stretch where the Lakers weren't that good. They were like, they're. At the end, towards the end of Kobe's year, there was bad, but towards like the after his Kobe chip was still there though. After his chip, I know, but after his chip, still until like 2013, 2014, before he started getting hurt, they were still a decent team, mm-hmm. but it was still just him. That's different though. People was, didn't want like playing with Kobe because he was really like. But Kobe's in LA. And he and was they like, tried. They tried with Dwight Howard. But that's the Steve Lakers, though, right? Yeah, they tried that too. Dwight Howard came over. He said he's going to resign with the Steve Nash. Literally signed. And he was like 100 years old, though. Like, I mean, yeah, Steve tried. Nash did all, they good. Bro, Steve Nash is one of the biggest money laundering sch- schemes of all time. Let's be <laughs> yeah. honest. Yeah, but still, they Steve tried. Nash. You want to talk about Steve but, Nash? Okay, but I'm Perfect. saying from, from I'm, my point, or me and Gay's point, is that after the Kobe years, if it wasn't for LeBron just coming out of the charity, like not just the charity of wanting mm-hmm. to be in LA, AD would not have came. And we probably the drought would have been much longer. It wouldn't people wouldn't have came just because they wanted to be in LA I because agree. of the situation. Paul and because they could have next year or you, Kawhi you the year after not, that. Like, but but yeah. at the same, you guys we say that traded for no, somebody but you guys, eventually. Okay, yeah. but you guys like, say that Lakers, you guys say that. But then in the same breath, say that nobody would want to go play with the with the young role, young role player stars. Like 
We would have, yeah, we would have you know traded I mean? for someone and then someone else would have signed. 100%. With us. But that's just like, but a it's easy. It's like easy to say we would have traded. But that doesn't happen. You guys do. You guys never tank. But for years, there was cheats. When have we ever developed? Like, there's like one, there's like one or two players that we developed. The rest of the dudes get traded. From 2014 to 2017, we were dog shit. We had the second pick for like four years. From 2014 to 2017, we were dog shit. We had the second pick for like four years. Okay, name another era when you guys were bad. Another era when we were bad. That's also, uh, let also, no, let me tell you. Hey, hey, do me, hey, a, hey, do me a favor. Hey, when? name what's another what's like 06 to 08, 09. No, nah, that's not true. We were you guys won all right. championship. We were like eight, no, no, 10, 11, 10, 11, 9, 10, we won. Okay, but 08, 08, I mean, 08, 09, you guys made, you guys had a run for the championship. You guys were bad for a couple years. Kobe asked, was trying to get out, and then they made trades, right? They Kobe, always made trades. No, they, were, start. they were like around the start. They were around like. Kobe was around like hovering seventh or eighth seed, averaging like fucking thirty five. Yes. bro. Yeah. Okay. And then but what, that's what like barely scraping the bottom people of the barrel. People don't like playing with Kobe. They didn't like playing with but Kobe. But they traded. They also traded to get Powell, and then yes, exactly. other people come in and they make a better roster. No one's coming to a rebuilding team that's bad in any. Even even thing. look at any other team. What what superstar okay. player has signed to a rebuilding team on any team, let LeBron, alone the Lakers? Okay, okay. Case because that's, it was LA, right? Yeah. They keep LeBron would have not signed to the Magic, to the Heat, to the Wizards if they're bad. Like it's because it's LA. Exactly. That's a huge factor as to why people come to LA. Because of where it's at. But okay, you keep saying people want to come to LA and then they say do. that people don't want to come to LA. When did I say like you just said they don't want to come to a rebuilding LA? Right. There's context that comes into it. I no one's but LA to a bad team. The fact that LeBron came to the bad team because of Los Angeles being Los Angeles is a point to is, helps me and Bez's argument of people wanting to come to okay, LA. Okay, uh, LeBron wanted to come to LA for the city, right? Yes. Yes. Such but as every other for Space either. Jam. Okay, <laughs> yeah. and since then we got better, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And it's just like the only other marquee player we've had Bro, in there in a good it was this Westbrook. dumbass let point him, again. We got AD it's, and LeBron. No marquee player wants to come play behind every, those dudes. No, and if he does, too. the rest of the team is shit. Exactly. Oh, so, but then why? Yeah. But yeah. everybody cool, wants to come cool, to LA. Find and now can't. No, we literally no, traded for Russell listen, Westbrook, who has a marquee player at the time. But listen, in the past four years, no. But okay, look, it's bad. It's bad for it's bad for them to play behind Bron and AD, but it's not. It's not bad for them to play behind Kyrie and Luca. Yeah, it's mean? not. It's not. Who bad. did they it's get? Not, what more key free agent wait, did the wait, fucking wait, wait, wait. get? Yeah. Wait, let him. Clay, a, Clay was, a, was a bigger name. He's Bro, obviously not fucking. He's obviously not fucking. Is Clay was a player. He's a role player yes, at this point. Clay, Clay took point, less. Clay took less money to go to Dallas. That good, I mean, like, why did he take less money? Because he didn't want to go to LA. That's not why he didn't want to play with LeBron. He said he wanted to the Warriors. That's exactly what he said. You guys are making up scenarios in your head. He doesn't think Luca doesn't want to come to LA. He doesn't think Luca doesn't play like LeBron. He's not gonna do that. No, that's not his. That was his point. They just made the finals too. Like they're way closer to championship than the Lakers. Okay, literally said it. The point is that that is a place that is a place out of a different discussion about like who's gonna be better next year. But whatever. But like literally said they didn't. Okay, but okay, taxes way less too. Like the Warriors. But he said that's the reason. Yeah, that's the reason. Why he took less money? Because it was basically the same. Doesn't want to come to LA. Stop saying people want to come to LA. If state taxes are high, the point taxes are high. It's like you guys keep saying people. Want to come and then we'll say, Oh, but why would they want to come? Like, they haven't wanted Contest. to come, they didn't want to come when we were bad, and they don't want to come when we make the Western Conference Finals. Okay, they don't want to come, get? they Who's don't want to come when we're like in the middle. Four people after we got fucking Jackson, we had no money. We got minimum Jackson, that's not good players. And though. What season did we had D'Lo and of? Austin Reeves under contract? But if there's people, but if there's people clamoring, okay, came off a great season, if there's people clamoring for a minimum. Jackson Hayes was okay. Whatever. You guys made moves. Torian oh, Prince was like, okay, whatever. He barely, yeah. got, he barely got minutes on the fucking Pelicans. Okay, but like, who, do, who can you afford with the roster you have? You guys are like forgetting the like, point, cap space is a thing. I get that, but they would Facts, make other like, they the would fuck? make other moves to to open up cap space if people actually were like, oh, I really want to come. I really want to like come. Who? They would want to. So I'm saying nobody has wanted to come to the point where they want to do that. Yeah, like uh, name a player. I can name a player. Gary Trent's a mid-level player. Who else is a mid-level player that got signed? No, let me let me he's think. A, he's a on, free agent. No, he's not even signed to a team. He is a mid-level player. And we're also looking at like I'm, I'm have, giving you like contract ranges okay, of mid-level players. And we also have like the Celtics for them this year. Okay, and also the Celtics fucking cap space, the cap roll is like fucking eighteen billion dollars. And you know what I mean? Like they're just chilling with five maxes. They're just resigning. Okay, you know what I mean? But I'm saying like Drew got traded two years ago. Like other people get traded. Could you give last year? We didn't have a Said, like people get traded the around the market, game. and a lot of the times the Lakers don't even get near like the same kind of deals. Okay, trades like, is they don't get a the different same thing. Type of You're saying players but don't want to come and free agencies. It's just like, dude, if the other team doesn't want to do business with the Lakers, what can they fucking do? If they're like, that's give us not, that's, that's our the point. Lakers. But that has nothing to do with them wanting to come to LA. Has to do with the org. That's our point. It's the org. It's the org. It's the Oregon Plinka. That was our main point. But that doesn't mean players don't want to come here, though. It is because it's unattractive to them. It's unattractive. Their org is unattractive to them. Player that you guys can get before and like say like uh why i didn't want to not why i didn't want to come to la but just name the player and we'll break down 
as to why, like, reasons I see why he won't be on LA or just ask why he chose every, a different every team. Clipper role Brother, K- Kawhi, but, Paul George. No, just name one now, like in this year. This Paul year? George? You can't afford Paul this George. This year, Clay Thompson, but he wanted to okay. give him less, uh, more money, like eight less reasons. Better role, right? Better role. Bro, you, 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 better. That's, 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 that's debatable, bro. That is what he said. But that's debatable. You act like his role's not going to be Obviously good in LA. Obviously, he's, he's in the fucking Mavs. He's, he's in the Mavs press conference. Behind what he said. We can what? only wait to see how he plays. If he averages like nine or 12 points... We're going like, off what he, why he chose a different team than LA, right? <laughs> Because That's the a fair fucking, point. Because the fucking other players on the Dallas Mavericks suck compared to the Lakers. The That's fucking three, four, five, down the line. You guys are just no, making up points to fit, you fix said your that, argument. But you said that his role is better. Exactly. Why is That's that? What he, said. he said that he didn't want to be on with LeBron. And like he said, he's going to be the same as playing with Golden State. That's how he felt. So he went to the Mavericks. He thought he can get better looks there. So his role will be better on the Mavericks. That's his point. That's why he joined the team. And why do you bring up taxes? Why do you bring no, up taxes? That's another point, too. If it's you can have more than one point as to why you don't want to play for a team. But why would, I'm saying, why is his role better on the Mavs? He feels like he'll get open opportunities to uh, have more minutes as a starter and he, the media attention won't be as big. Why do you think he'll get more point? minutes? Huh? I say, why do you think he'll get more minutes? Because he's the third best shooting. player, right? Because he's not better than Reeves. He's not better than shooting. the team isn't as okay, good. Yeah, yeah. So that's why I say he's not better than the third, fourth, fifth best right. guy in the Lakers. All right, that helps our argument, right? Why would he go to the Lakers if you think that? Exactly. Why would he? I'm telling you, why do people want, why do you think people people want to go to LA? It's not a good fit. I'm telling you, people don't want to go to LA. It's not a good fit for him. That's why he doesn't want to go to LA. You can say agrees with me. He doesn't want to go people I'm saying. If it was a good fit, he'd go to LA. Listen, listen, it's not an if, it's now. It's he's not a good fit. Okay, how does that have to do with the fact that he's not considering the Lakers? Let me say one Term. Let me say one term. He did not come to LA. Therefore, my pro- my point stands. He did. No one come. People don't come to LA. Him going there. Bro. Him. No, no. You can say no, the excuses, the context, more, but that that's the whole bottom line. There's context. If people will come to take look, look. Context. Here's, the, to take here's the hypothesis. Here's the thing. Well, you guys are saying everybody wants to come to LA. Me and Wire said people don't want to come to LA. Why does no we one go to the Suns? Why is no one? I'm just proving up. I'm proving a Clay Thompson point. I'm proving a context point. It's a context point. It's a context point. I'm saying you guys are saying people want to come to LA. Me and Wire said people don't want to come to LA as much as you guys think. There's a player that we could have gotten with the money, whatever context that we talked about already. He did not come to LA. That is what we like. That's basic, like A, B, and C, right? But he didn't you can come, go in the middle. You can add the fluff. It's LA. You can say whatever you want. He oh, did not man. become a Laker. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, like we're like, saying. All I'm saying is yeah, people. Saying as to, you guys are giving bad arguments as to well, why. Like, you're gonna get Christian say, Wood, like, Jackson Hayes, fucking who else is a min, min that we got, bro? Uh, Cam Reddish. Fit for him. Yeah, go, go sign Mins. Well, LA will sign Mins till they die. LA acting like he doesn't want to come to LA because LA is nasty or something like that. Like it's ew. That's what you're making it sound to be. Well, is unattractive that? to the players. Okay, so the organization is unattractive. To also, play? also to your point, yes. Austin, how? Because the dude, they've always in the media they talk about the business ran in the in the fucking Lakers is has been bad for years. Not once has he mentioned the organization being bad as to why he's gonna come out and, and and talk about talk shit about the organization. If it was a good fit, you would have went. One hundred percent. If it was a good fit, why did Magic went. leave? If it was honest, a good fit, honest, that, that organization. Took, why did Magic he leave? He took the role that the he took the role that he needs. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck? It was AIDS. That's why he had to retire. Playing as as a GM basketball operations because he didn't know how to do shit. He was dumb. He didn't like the organization, bro. There was too much shit going on. Like behind the scenes, he did not know how to run an NBA field. He made one draft pick, and that people. Coming to the NBA, to the Lakers. That's not that's that's. Eight, I'm just saying. Good, I'm just saying. Like, and it's upper, also a different. But it's not doing right, business. Right. It's not just about like that's okay. why we bring up trades because people don't want. But that's business a completely with the different thing. Like people don't want to come. Okay, if that's one thing, if you're saying it's people trades, don't want to, pe- the, the organization, industry. people don't like doing business with Rob and Jeannie. But it's a different thing to say people don't want to come to LA and the Lakers. Exactly. Like it's just <laughs> because of the management in place. It's not because I think of the Lakers. Brand in the, the city. I think it's the magic. I think the Lakers it. history. The I, well, that's yeah. a I'm saying this. I'm saying my positives. And I think the Lakers, right. uh, city wise, brand wise, reputation wise, history, legacy, all that stuff is positives. But I'm thinking the reason uh, things don't go the way Laker fans and Laker organizations want people probably like Rob is because of the the upper management in LA. I've heard stories about like uh, the Rockets GM. Who is the guy? Um, uh, Mas- what the fuck is his name? You Jerry. The it's the Rockets got uh, not the owner, the GM. Is his name Masai? Okay. No, is that, is that, is no that not Daryl Moore. He's in Phoenix, Philadelphia now. What's his name? Is that is that is Raptors? That's, that's the Raptors. That's Raptors. That's Raptors no, but anyway, the guy for the Rockets, I was, I was getting sent. Fuck, I don't have it on my phone. Right, he, basically, the premise was uh, they were doing trades with other teams and deals to, I guess, better help like offload other teams' negative problems, and they'll like brunt it. Like basically, if you have good relationships, in in a way, this is just vague, very very vague. Uh, they'll like take a hit in order for the other team to do good. Okay, I have that's a like fair point. the like the lake. I don't know if the lake. I don't know if it's Rob. I don't know if it's the Lakers upper management, but they don't yeah. like like they don't garner relationships with other teams like other okay, GMs. That's fair, but does other it, like, players don't want to go to LA. Is where, brother, where, where that might be saying. that might be a. But they don't come though. That's what I'm saying. Like like okay, yeah, one way or another. another we got LeBron and AD. I'm not discrediting that anyway. I'm yeah, not discrediting one, LeBron and AD here, but like besides the fact like. 
and people just don't. But we also what don't. players want to come to LA like. You know, but we we're also not saying the pressure. We like, also don't can't mean handle that's this. a negative. See, we that's, also don't mean just like stars. Like, we also don't mean don't just stars. Like one way or another, for whatever reasons, you know what I mean. But we think we think the one of the biggest like you guys keep you guys keep giving us reasons to big up LA, but the fact of the matter is there's a reason. That people aren't coming. They don't, and like, there's a reason they didn't come when we were rebuilding, and there's a reason they didn't, they didn't, weren't clamoring to come. And I'm not just talking about big, the, the biggest names, but I'm talking about like the top tier, like role players, like good people who add names the team. Also, look at how they handled D'Angelo Russell. Russell. Also, also, look how they handled D'Angelo Russell. I know he had a bad performance. He had a great season, but the first thing this, they did when this man opted into his player contract, they were shopping D'Lo off for anything. Anything they could find. They're trying to trade him. Any team would too. Of course. Why but not? what I'm saying is like, I'm saying is like, like, uh, you're trying to get a relationship for the players again. I know it's a business at the end of the day, but the way you're treating D'Lo like he's like something on like so the corner shop of the street. Him? You wouldn't shop him? I'm not saying you I wouldn't shop him. I'm not saying I wouldn't shop him, but I wouldn't, do, I wouldn't handle it the way they're handling it. For the goals that you guys are trying to achieve, they're, they're trying him to... not performing in the playoffs is the reason why you want to shop him, right? So he should be shocked. That's that's not the point. I'm saying the way they're handling his like, I guess, because like, he's still on the team. He's not left yet, but the way they're handling his whole uh, stay and potential trade or Whatever happens if he gets traded for whatever. how else would they handle it? That's that'll make it positive. I don't know. They just been they just started spe- like as soon as Dilo uh, opted into his player contract and like except it was eighteen mil or sixteen any of the, the seventeen whatever the price is they were trying to ship around to see what what they could fill the holes like Omar was talking about maybe get should. maybe get a center maybe get like another try and get a, I'm not gonna get a first for Dilo probably I don't know second you know get something back but they're trying to get rid of him automatically when he signed when he opted into his player option you know what's wrong with that though. It's not. It's not wrong for the business wise, but like as far as like uh, you're doing this to like one of your mid level guys who you're giving seventeen mil to, people aren't gonna want to come because they're inclined to like get shipped out to like fucking Detroit or something. Maybe you never know. All this stuff matters though. But that can happen with any team. That can happen with yeah. any team, of course. But All you I'm see it more like, with the Laker players. You guys are as well because Laker media because and... Laker media blows everything up. You understand what I'm saying? We're I, talking I about Laker tax. Why do people also, want to come and I be think, like? I think like you guys are making the problem overblown. Like I agree with you that there's some really some negatives right. about the Lakers organization. Laker like media Genie, too. Laker media is horrendous. Like with Genie, the pressure of the Lakers organization, LeBron, being LeBron James team. being there. Like there's definitely factors that limit people from wanting to come to LA. But I don't think it's anything that much crazier than reasons people wouldn't want to go to Detroit or reasons people wouldn't want to go to New York or some other some other team. Like you guys I don't are think just it's limited in what you can do. Like. The There's only way this proves our point is once LeBron and AD are gone, what happens next? That's the only way. We'll, because then we if people don't come yeah, for four to five years, it's the same re- repeat okay, cycle with after Kobe. Four or five years, Braun came out of like godsend, bro. Like, like I'm guys, going to LA because... It's funny because fa- teams be, are bad for like 20 years. Also, teams a, don't win for there's a, so long, but you're complaining about but there's, two there's also periods theory. of time. There's also Lakers a conspiracy win theory. At, like, they're winners, man. There's a conspiracy they're with LeBron. There's a conspiracy theory with LeBron that he came here because he had to film Space Jam. And he stayed here. There's like a conspiracy theory about that. Well, I oh, think it's true dumb. that he came to LA for like movies and stuff. Yeah, like he came for movies. I swear, I, I saw I this. Say, but you still got him. Yeah, family. I know, I know. Yeah. That too. Sierra Canyon. But he yeah. definitely wasn't coming here to win. Obviously, like he knew the team wasn't <laughs> yeah. doing shit. But he probably figured that since People the Lakers, come. somebody they could get someone, whether it's to trade or yeah. to free agency. Shaq, you got another big free agency signing with Shaq because you got a player. 20, you got 25 back years ago. And yeah. He just wanted to be here. 28 years ago. Yep. Years I know. Same. I know. And we had him for hella long. That's the legacy portion. That's hella the long. positive I'm talking about. Exactly. That legacy. Once they're here, we keep him here. Yeah. These dudes don't leave the team. They literally retire with us. <laughs> exactly. And so, people who do want to Then we go get Carl Malone. So even if we, we go get, get Carl Malone and fucking who the fuck was there? Gary Payton. Fucking Gary Payton. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's just like Sean the fucking Kemp. great the only, stars. It's just only like Carl Malone's the reason Russell why we lost. <laughs> the only time yeah, recently we got good stars or we got stars is when they're We got Melo to come here. Come so, on. Yeah, now. when they're 40. <laughs> we only get stars when they're 40. <laughs> Russ. Yeah I, love, yeah, I love you, Russ, though. Yeah, but all I wa- last thing I want to say is that I feel like people do want to come to LA. It's just the situation in terms of where you guys are at as a team or how like movement you guys can do. Like, you guys are pretty limited in what you can do or players that you could sign that could actually impact the team or reasons why they want to come there because of minutes and potential like uh, roles on the team is why I think people, for your point, don't want to come to L.A. But uh, if you guys, if there's opportunity there, most players in the NBA would come to Los Angeles. In my opinion. But there's there's been periods of opportunity where we have roles to fill. And like I'm just saying that the – like marquee role players that move around that contribute a lot to winning or that are known like I want to go to this team because I think that we make them a contender. You know what I mean? I like, like it's just but people have a lot of the players in the last like let's just say this year and last year or even just this year. It's just like after getting to the Western Conference Finals, like there were there's a batch of players. I don't have a whole list, mm-hmm. but people 
move around. People want to go other places. People like, you know what I mean? They, it's a player's league at the end of the day. Even if they're on another team, even if they have to get through a trade, people who like say they want to go somewhere, especially if an uh, organization has treated them well and they've treated the organization well, will let them go to where they want to go. And for the most part, since before, like since after Kobe, even till now, besides LeBron coming there and then the one Westbrook trade, which was horrendous, it's no like, even from top tier role player to star has made a request saying that they really want to get to the Lakers besides Kyrie, but that just, they, yeah. Joe was, was like, good Joe Sai was like, fuck no. That <laughs> yeah, just happened. I feel like, like there's, there's other, there's 29 other teams and better offers that other teams are giving. But I'm saying if like, everyone else was on the same playing field. The Lakers would have the advantage in, in my opinion. I don't I mean, but I'm saying we got offense. to the Western Conference yeah. Finals and it was just like crickets. You know what I mean? Like nobody's really you clamoring. You got Gabe Vincent. Did he not Torian help Prince. the team make it to the finals? The Heat? Without Gabe Vincent, they would have made it to the, the finals. The Heat. On that team, yeah. Yeah, but he's not. He's he not a good he, signing. He, it was. At the time. He had a good yeah. year. That's but I'm saying he had a good year. Westbrook trade was good at the time. No, I It was good at the time. I knew it. Yeah, we were. Listen, come on. Getting a star, to their point. The idea was good. The idea was good. The idea was good. The idea was good. They got the wrong player, but the idea was good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I was just a bad fit. He wanted to come to L.A. You're Kyrie point, too. He wanted to come to L.A. because the fit was good for him there. But obviously, it didn't work out because of the Nets and everything. But players want to come to L.A. to play there. If the opportunity but I'm saying when, when, it's when been, players request a trade, the Lakers are always on their list of desired tar- targets. Uh, like, I mean, not, they I, always, not I don't feel like that. Be, exactly. I, I, but I feel like that. Be if quite if look, like yeah. take it like this: if LeBron and AD weren't taking a third of our of our of our cap. tax of our cap, it's probably you more know, than that, bro. you know, no, LeBron's thirty three, AD's thirty. Uh, and um, ain't no way they're making is. that little. I guarantee you, they're not, bro. Percent. That's percent. Oh, percent? Percent of our luxury tax. To, of our no, cap. So of our cap. Together, then. Of our 60% cap. 60% together. of the cap. Yeah, yeah, so look, LeBron's 48, he's 43. Anyway. Yeah, so um, yeah, 60% okay. of the team. So that's 60% of the team. You know, obviously, we're, if, if Davis wasn't on like a fucking $48 million or LeBron was on a 43, you know, like that type of shit, mm. and LeBron took a little pay cut, AD took his pay cut. Anyway, they could get a third guy, right? And, and I'm assuming Hassan would agree with me. They'd get a nice like... If they each went down 15 or, you know, 17 million, they can get a $30 million player, right? Yeah, someone will come. Someone will come. Do you, now, judging by the money. That's not even a max spot anymore, by the way, with the yeah, new crazy. contracts. Like, 30 mils? million is like a, no, is a good role player. Yeah. 35 mil is hard. OG got more than 30 mil. 30 yeah, mil. He older, got 72. Bro. He got like 70 or 2 million. He's talking about like a young guy that wants OG to, uh, got like 38 mil a year, bro. We can't crazy, even afford right? him. Mikel right, got the same point. amount. Like Fucking yeah, OG, crazy. huh? You were that much And the new CBA prevents, the tax is so high now that like, it's it's going to be extremely hard to go over the tax uh, go over the cap like we're already over the cap we're 18 cap million team. over and if we get into the second apron i don't know if you guys saw the suns we barely they did. have the, the biggest payroll in, of in, in nba yeah, history 400 here. billion or million dollars <laughs> i have yeah. it That's and crazy. their their, taxes their, their crazy. roster is making like 197 mil or something like 223, that 223 i think or 223 and their taxes are the rest of it yeah. Which is up to 400 million. Their tax bill is 208 million. There you go. That's what it is. That is insane. Which is the owner's not going to pay that much money just for he's gonna go bankrupt. having a mid ass team. He's going to go. He's a billionaire. You know, I mean, you know the big three is over like, oh my God. He's, he's a billionaire like, and we'll the team makes money. Yeah, but you know what I mean? So. So. Yeah, that's on Genie is cheaper. She's one of the she poor. Cheaper, yeah. She's one of the poor uh, uh, owners. That's a different convo, but I don't blame her at the same time. Yeah, I mean, she's just not that type of owner. It could be like some type of player like that, like a $30 million player. I mean, maybe, like, like take OG, for example. If you guys are saying he'll come to LA, he'll might take eight mil less. You know what I like, No, like he if, won't, bro. No. But that's what I'm saying. If there's money to be made. Nobody's going to take a pay cut to come yeah, here, no. but they will come here if it's all fair. You if know what I mean? If they're that, fair, contract. they'll come here. No oh, one's taking a pay cut to go anywhere, bro. Tobias Harris went to the I don't want to reiterate, so I don't want to reiterate the point, but if you're saying people want to come to LA, they will take a pay cut. No, then they no, don't want to come no, there. No, they won't. Then, Nobody will then, take a pay cut to go to money, any team. Then it's money reasons. Name right? one player that took a pay cut to go to a to go to a different team. Demarcus Cousins. When did he ever take a pay to cut? To go to the Golden State Warriors. He was coming off a he fucking Achilles tear. But he was a damn near all-star player, wasn't no, he? He was off an was Achilles tear. Was he not? Tear. But was he not? Did he play like but an all-star player when he came back but to the Warriors? was he not? Was he not an all-star level player? He was the third splash brother. Was he not an all-star type of player? He was the third splash brother. Come on, he hurt himself, yes. After hell no. Why is he worth that much? That's a player that took a cut. So someone's gonna pay him max money. Who's gonna pay him? Not max. What the fuck? Who's I never said max. max. Also, dude, who was gonna pay him good money? Max. Who was gonna pay him good money? I'm not saying max. Who was gonna pay him good money? Ask the Pelicans question. didn't even offer him the same contract. He got uh, even lower from the Pelicans. That's why he went to the Warriors. That's why he felt disrespected. Bro, no one was he was pay ring him good money. He didn't even care what the offers were. Exactly. Bro, no. He went to the no team that just took a pick a championship. Took a pick You think the Sacramento Kings went off from 13 million? You think the Sacramento Kings went off from mid level? That's an awful example. But he could. They could. He played for. You could offer him thirteen. Bro, million. he literally went to ring chase with the team that won seventy three games and then got Kevin Durant. Like, 
Yeah. And he was bad, too. Yeah. He was there just to make but a he, point to come back and say, oh, the market's He literally cousin. did that to spite the rest of the league. You like, told me to tell you a player that took a pay cut. He took a pay cut. You're not taking context. He took a pay cut. You're just arguing to argue. But he took a pay cut. Just to make your point. He took a bet on yourself deal. He didn't take a pay cut. Yeah, exactly. He took a pay cut. Oh, my God. He, he, he hey, cut his okay, pay. okay, I'll tell you. Uh, Jackson, uh, Jackson Ace took a pay cut to come here. So did Cam Reddish. Yeah, they minimum. got league minimums. They could have got <laughs> at least one more million that's from some other team. That's a pay cut. Nah, I probably couldn't have. Malik Monk took a pay cut to come here. Cam sure. Reddish was one for out yeah, there. One for out the league. Yourself season yeah. two. Yeah. And look, he didn't come back. He got more money somewhere else. But that, but Demarcus would have gotten a contract. He would have, bro. He's Demarcus. Cut. He had name value at the he time. He literally made minimum name contracts ever up. since that point, bro. Exactly. Yeah, but he had name value at the back. time. He could have got a contract. Who? Who was gonna pay him, bro? The oh, Kings would have paid him fifteen mil. Who knows the fucking my, like people year, at the time? Was it twenty sixteen? They was someone would have paid him fifteen mil, bro. If he could have got more money. He would have gotten them. Dog, them no, he was ring chasing, bro. Because he was a bet on yourself because season. No one he, was going to pay he, him. He lost for 10 years. Bro, he I didn't guarantee have a you if he could have got a max, he would have fucking taken it and <laughs> ran away. He wasn't getting a max, but he would have got like 15 mil. He would have took that. He would have got it. Brother, it's not. Dude, he no, wanted a ring chase. Obviously, no one was giving him a he, good contract if so he, he went and took that himself. fucking minimum ass deal, bro. Did you yeah. talk to him? Did you see the contracts at the yes, time? Yes, he literally you. said that himself. No one was giving him respectable contracts, so he did that to He probably was league. expecting 40 mil a year, but we're giving him 15, and he's like, no, I'm fucking. I don't know what the exact contract was, but the point is. If it was what I said, he was then that's the fact that he took If it's not a. Go and say deal just shows us that he's betting on here, himself. Here, but here's the thing: if 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 they were if he was wanting forty mil, they were giving him like fifteen or thirteen, and then he took a three point for like a vet min. That proves my point. There he had a contract somewhere. Thirteen. He felt undervalued, so he took the bet on himself. But deal. he but They'll he work. knows it's not forty mil. But I'm he, saying he, he went like to fifteen a mil. That's not even the same situation. That's not like a completely healthy player who's at the same level going to a team to take a pay cut. That's and literally that's, a dude yeah, who's coming off a fucking career he, ending he type of injury. Type of and it, you never know. Ended his career. You never know. What it if, did? It did. What if he came? He would have sent the three. What, what if he if came this? back what and he was? What if that? What if this? You were talking about a bunch of ifs for the Lakers just now. About the oh, if if uh, if the Lakers had money, they'd get this guy. If it was a perfect w- level world, they'd get this guy. Tor- this ACL. is your words. You said one of the worst right, players. Right, right, you can't right, think right. of one other player. Yeah, you can't use another. You all you use is statements from Reno. Answer the question. You're just no. no deflecting, deflecting, deflecting. I said something. Answer the you question. Said that he's asking you. I I said something. I said what happened. Okay. I said it, and you said it. Okay. What's the question? Because you talked over it. again. Name another player besides another Demarcus Cousins. Another one, Cus- okay. <laughs> Bro, you're acting like that's like the worst example you could possibly give. He's give like a legit player, player that didn't tear their we... Achilles the previous season. He's deflecting, bro. No, I got to think about it. Because there's a, and this is a new niggas, Even niggas who would tear their Achilles the previous season don't want to come to the Lakers. Kenny, Kenny Torres said he didn't want to come here. Who? How are you going to get Kevin Durant? <laughs> yeah, I'm just Durant, saying. Like, he, that's different. He ended up on a team of fucking... With three maxes. Talking about a guy that was a top 50 player in NBA history. Is DeMarcus Cousins uh, people, a top 50 People player? forced their, like, even Bill had, had, had a dumbass contract and forced his way over there. DeMarcus like, Cousins has been always injury prone, too. It's not like it was his first major injury. This dude's always been getting hurt. It's Kevin Durant, too. Like, Point is, know, nobody man. forces, nobody besides the one AD forced their way here, like. How are, how are they going to force their way to LA? It's just you? requesting like, a trade and said, I want to go to the Lakers. So, I got one. How's Kevin Durant? I got one. I got one. What, I got what player, player has forced cut. their way to a different team? I got a player that took a pay cut when he was on the Philadelphia Sanctions. James Harden took a $15 million pay cut. Because he thought he was going to get paid the next year and Daryl Morey lied to he his ass. He to try and win. 100%. That's another Contest. player that took a pay cut. But he you're thought he was going to get paid the next you guys, year. You guys understand? You guys asked me to find a player who took Bro, a pay cut. Bro, you're, you're not Harden even thinking about context at all. This dude <laughs> went on a fucking <laughs> China tour calling this man a liar a because cut. he got why? done why? dirty. Why? why? Help win in the next year to get more money to uh, help win. Okay, so that's why he took the pay cut. Though. Yeah. So there's context as to why he took a pay cut, correct? No one's doing that for the Lakers. Why are no one taking? A, why is no one taking a pick up to come play in LA? Why are people? Why hey, are bro, people wanting? I guarantee you, if the Lakers went to a fucking like star player and said, "Okay, take a pick up here, and we'll give you max money, even though you don't deserve it," the following year they would do it a hundred percent. But the, Daryl Morey, the Lakers giving someone max money that they don't deserve. That's what because James Harden, Daryl Morey at the time, obviously after that season. Coming off that that second round exit again, he played poorly in Game Seven. Daryl Morey didn't want to pay him the max contract, so he got done dirty. But he got promised that he thought he was getting that. Yeah. I promise you, if a, 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 a the GM made a promise, if Rob Palinka said, "Bro, OG Ananobi or whoever, we're gonna give you this little take this little pay cut." It's not like he fucking took twenty million less. He took like a couple seven eight million less. Next year, we're gonna pay you a full length max contract. He would one hundred percent do that in order to win. 100%. But he got lied to, so he wanted to get off the team because he didn't trust the GM anymore. It's context that matters. Yeah. LeBron was willing to take a pick at himself, too. Yeah. To play but, for the but Lakers. nobody wanted to come for the, the no, $20 no, million that he was throwing people. There was literally team. not that many good players we could have got either. Yes. Like, there, was like, there was like three. There, there was, was three, three players. players. And, and one of them zero. we couldn't afford. DeMar DeRozan got a way much more money from the Kings. I mean, think he wants to play for Sacramento. DeMar was late. did it for the contract.
Okay, Valanciunas is fair, but obviously they with more money over there. Yeah, he's not even. He's like an international dude. I feel like they don't care about like and he's the not even spot play like for the Wizards. He probably get traded at the deadline too. Yeah. The Wizards. It's just for the money. So my, my, he's it. also gonna get more opportunity there to rebuild his value. Maybe get a bit later. Other than Gabe Vincent, is that who came to the Lakers? Torian Prince. Prince. Okay. Jackson okay. Hayes. Came off a okay. Season. Christian Wood. On men. On men. Okay. On men. On men. On men, on men, Cam Reddish, on men. Chris Wood didn't come off a good Give me some good players. No. DP does not count. No, I'll give you Gabe Vincent. Why does he not Gabe count? Gabe Vincent counts. No, because Gabe Vincent counts. Why does not? Why Gabe Vincent Vincent count? was a playoff performer. TP, why does he not count? Because he's not question. a playoff performer like Gabe Vincent was in the fucking he's league. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? Am I wrong? We're talking about good He had an all right season, buddy. Relax. We're talking about good to very good role players. He sucks balls, brother. He had a good season prior, right? No. no, there's a reason why he took him. So we want to say the term. There's a reason why people didn't want to pay him. Why he's on the vet man. He averaged okay, 17. Now you want to change, he now 17. You change your, the goal I never liked Christian Wood as a player anyway. I did not want him on the Lakers. Austin, your argument without taking any context. You asked Christian at Wood. I didn't even want Christian Wood. I didn't want him. Because I don't he, like his play style. He's slow. He's not very defensive. He's a very a streaky uh, player. So I don't like him. So you guys uh, our, point, our point. No, Barely. not him. We, it was it was improve the improvements mainly were. Trading away Westbrook. That's where the improvements came. The signings Gabe that Vincent we got. was a good beside, he, he didn't play the okay. entire year. Prior. You guys are always right. saying. Okay, he sucks. Saying, right? Right? He sucks. Before it got here. Yes, yes no, I agree. But, okay, yes. I was hyped. Awesome. My point, was my, I not? Was I not hyped? Our point right. is, like, our free agency signings, you keep saying that people would want to come to the Lakers, people would want to do this, people would want to do that, and then you, you name our free agency signings, and it's all men, niggas, that nobody wanted. <laughs> What do you mean? It's all mid, like, besides Gabe Vincent. Bro, we had D'Lo, Austin Reeves, Rui already on the team. We don't have that much money to sign, so it's not good. Those guys we traded stuff. for. We traded for those guys. Yes. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, we traded that Russell Westbrook. That, 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 that was making 40 fucking million. We couldn't sign anybody well, while he was on the team. Yeah, exactly. You guys are not taking capital but people have consideration, more. situation, like, fit. We had mid I'm saying, like, our mid-level. When we had Russell Westbrook, we literally signed him Melo and everybody on mid deals because we couldn't do nothing else. Here's a question. Why why do we resign Austin Reeves, D'Angelo Russell, all these guys? all these deals why do we resign them we would have money right hindsight would have money if we didn't resign them like because like, they high. played good for us when we the Western Conference Finals why would we let them walk and then, walk? And, then yeah. and then now we have no money what hindsight mean? right what we do you mean to, we don't have extra money to give a max contract because we gave, we paid them because they played good right you guys so they played good here's the, pl- here's the timeline you know they they're still good. under contract here's the here's the thing they played good they got paid right yes they got played next year when uh we got all time to fucking compete again the team doesn't do as good as they did before. Okay. Now we we locked in those guys. We do we gave Dilo a player option. He took it. Now our money's tied up. We don't have thing. That's the Lakers' fault. That's not how? my fault. That's not how they they but offered them like, a contract. What would you would you have let they, all those dudes walk after winning saying. the Western? That what were you supposed saying. to do? Yeah, what they should have traded Dilo. I'm just saying that's what the Lakers did. I'm following. I'm telling you what happened in the past. Now yeah, they did the right now thing. the Lakers. They did the right thing? Yes. Yeah. After right now, they did the right thing. Bro, in what hindsight, it's easy to say. Money, right? It's easy to what say in hindsight. Exactly. No, what, what else could they do? We're talking. But it's like, you can't talk in hindsight. Oh I'm talking. God. The GM in, did the right thing at the time. The best, I'm talking the in hindsight right now because it's it's the, it's the like the consequences of that. So, after after one year of those re-signings, at one year's past, we played. We, we didn't get further than last time. And now, we the we feel like our money's tied up. Is Are we wrong? We have no money. Yeah, we have no money. Okay. And even with the LeBron pay cut, and if uh, Reeves, Rui, all these guys, uh, and D'Lo had less contract, which was probably not going to happen because at the time, it was a good signing, right? Before hindsight. Hindsight, we don't have money to give people. And now we're like, oh, we're the same place as we were right now. So we're what not would you rather improve. do? Me? Yeah. As of right now? Yeah. Other than the pay cut, I mean, what else could the Lakers do? If you were the GM of the Lakers this offseason, what would you have done, brother? Here, my hands are tied if I was the like, GM. Let me tell you why. The Le- GM. I said the yeah. GM. Speaking of LeBron, he, he he gave a pay cut, which is great. But everything else is tied up in uh, Davis, D'Lo, Reeves, Rui, in that order, and That's we have right and all these and Gabe I, Vincent. They all got right? good contracts, though. It's not, exactly. Nobody's getting overpaid besides Gabe Vincent. Like, okay, but we're talking and about you here, you're talking money. about from this point onward, right? I'm just telling you what our flaws are and how we can improve. Other than the LeBron pay cut, our money's tied. There's not much we have. We have a 20 million to spend, right? We had 20 million, but that was gone because we didn't get anybody. Yeah, so no, LeBron we signed. We have our MLE. Teams. Yeah, we have a few. We have a few picks. We, we have, have like, like four have... first rounds in like a, a couple seconds. We do. We have like a couple. We have a few picks. Sure. We have a few picks in but, this decade. But look, th- that's a that's <laughs> a different decade. conversation because I, that's fine. a different conversation because teams don't want to trade with us is a completely different story. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I think that goes a, back to what I said about the So if the other team, if the other team doesn't want to do business with us, like we can't help that. Exactly. Overcharge us. We can help that. Exactly. No, your that's whole point, point is that players don't want to come to LA. That's exactly that was your whole point yes. before. But it's that's because of the org. That's not true. I said it, my first point was because it's because of the org and it's Rob. And I said Rob was escaping accountability. That's, that's how the entire okay, conversation started. We're, Rob we're was escaping accountability. We're talking about just the players. Organization, not players coming to LA. But that matters because they got to deal with them. They, they have to deal with the org. They can't just one way or another. No, no, because they wouldn't stay here if it was so bad. 
It's One just way the other GMs another. don't fuck with Rob. It's exactly. not the players that's don't fuck with Rob. That's, that's the whole that's org. That's part of the org. Dude, that's Rob what, Polinka was literally player a player's wants. agent. You think they don't fuck with him? The other teams know that he tries to pull some shit and like tries it's, to finesse other exactly. teams so the other GMs won't trade with him. The players like Rob themselves. That's why they stay here because they feel taken care of mm-hmm. and they know that they're going to get their rightful Is respect. Resigning? Is Zinwiddy resigning? Bro, he's he sucks. Ass. I'm, I'm not. Like, I'm not you think it's that? You know, they're sitting So they're sitting courtside for what? Look, you guys. Want him either. No, sure, look, this is where the disconnect came. He took care of the players, right? He wanted to sign here too, right? Beforehand, I did not want that man. This is where the disconnect came. It's not like I get what you mean that Rob is not doing anything to players to make them not want to come to LA. But the fact of the matter is, you guys said that like players really, really want to come. They do. But I'm saying the. End result that we've seen in the last years is that we can't get players. Context. Yeah. Okay. There's context. It's yeah. The it's common the... denominator we've changed. Look, we finish. went from we went from rebuilding. LeBron came. We fixed it up. When we were bad, we couldn't get many players besides LeBron. And when, when we're good, we still can't get many players because of contracts. It's been five years. Listen, saying, we've had LeBron for five years. Exactly. Exactly. Let's go. Let's be but through those times, yeah, I, got, through, I got some for him. Hold up. Through those times, right? We've changed up players. We changed up coaches. We changed up staffs. We changed up everything. People still don't want to come. What's the last thing that because we haven't contracts. changed? But what's the last thing that hasn't been changed in the organization? Robbie. Uh, what's the last thing that hasn't been yeah. changed? Yeah. We've tried. Polinka, we've yeah. changed everything else. Okay. Common but I, the common Even denominator is Rob Polinka, Polinka hasn't been Polinka. able to, like, okay. for whatever context. You know what I mean? When it comes to coaches, people, like, lately we've seen a lot of coaches get fired mm. in two years, even when they want to chip. Three okay. years ago. Even if but I'm saying leaves, that doesn't change the fact that you're still not going to get players, though. That doesn't. That, but we don't know that. I know the, that because no, we don't know that for sure. Depend, contract, depending, like but Gabe depending said, on with Reeves, Hachimura. Okay, but depending when you change, but cap. when you change presidents and GMs, generally they come in and at least try to do something to change to make their their own touch on the okay, organization at the me, time. Let me ask you this. But thing. wait, I'm not, wait, wait. Let me finish. Right, go ahead. The but right now, like, regardless when it comes to coaches. It's like, regardless of the context, like, Vogel got fired because Westbrook, pretty much. You know what I mean? Because of that. Vogel didn't deserve to be fired in reality. Yeah. But they didn't go into the meeting and say, they oh, context. They should have blown up the team in the first place. Yeah, I, I agree. But I'm saying they didn't go, and I agree. But they didn't go in there and be like, oh, it's context. At the end of the day, somebody has to be held accountable. And they keep holding the coaches accountable, and they keep holding players accountable yeah. by trading them or not resigning them. Yeah. But Rob... Has never won, like you know what I mean. He's he's escaping accountability in okay, his role in certain things. Does, did he not? Besides the Westbrook move, one I don't trade feel deadline, like not gonna move. Done that bad. Like the, bad the Westbrook move, fired. the Westbrook move is horrible. I'm not but, gonna disagree with yes, that. But, but ever I'm since saying then, there he's done a good job, dude. The fact that he was able to get D'Lo, Vanderbilt, Malik Beasley on good deals, and, on good deals for fucking Russell Westbrook, yes, who was he did garbage, good. Like, he was did, good. He, like he did a good job. But I'm saying that this like one stint in the span of a long time. And people will try to give him credit for the LeBron stuff. But it's like LeBron just wanted to come to L.A. He's the one yeah. who really just wanted to come to L.A. And then AD forced his way to say, I'm literally not going nowhere and I won't play for nobody else. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? Because LeBron was there. I don't agree with you saying that he would have just done that without LeBron. No, he would like... Because yeah. you guys in the same breath said that people didn't want to play with that same squad. No, And I'm then said that the he would, even like if they would have traded him, he would have been happy. My point was like if the team uh, like traded AD to the Lakers or something like that, and then they traded like for someone else. Then he'd be happy. Uh, that's, being but that's a, that's a hypothetical. Be a, like a Laker. That's a hypothetical. If they would have traded for somebody else. But our point is like people don't want to go there just because it's LA. What do you mean? Like they want to go there if it's LA if there's a good situation. Yeah. Okay, but I'm saying, but that's not just because it's LA. But it's also like well, we've had decent situations that people still didn't want to come. Like, and so when when, is, when, when there's good situations situ- because we've had we've had decent seasons with LeBron there. The team well, has been good enough. Anybody though, that's the whole point. Yeah, but okay, we're not the only team with two max players. You know what I mean? Like the people obviously find ways to move money around. The they Celtics exist. The Suns exist. Like, yeah, like but Celtics, even, even besides, I'm not even gonna use the Suns because that's just they're just they astronomical. They're, they're, they're just oh, astronomical. And Minnesota they're, is paying yeah, a lot. Of, and they're, Minnesota's they're paying, paying a lot for it. their players. Well, who did they sign, bro? They literally traded and drafted all those dudes. Exactly. They traded Gobert for five first round picks. That's a good. We're talking about money being used, right? Money. My, like money, but my, uh, but my They're main just... point is that I've heard of so many things over, the, especially over the years, is about Rob, the way Rob Polinka million. does business, yeah, they for and how Rob Polinka doesn't like being, or like the GMs and stuff don't like doing business with Rob Polinka. That's Polinka. fair, though. That's fair. That is fair. But so you're just gonna keep him? 
Okay, but even if so he's gonna let it, you know what I mean? Just let it happen. Even just let it happen, right? Nobody wants to be different. What can the they can get a get a better GM? All they can do is trade the players that they have right now. I under yes, but I'm saying you can. It's just all these other teams getting like super friendly trades going on. People like each other. Yeah. But you have a GM that nobody likes. Okay, that's a fair I point. I get that it's not his. It may not be his fault. Like you know what I mean? Because yeah. he was an agent and they don't like him for a reason. But I'm saying at the end of the day, regardless of context, results is what matters. You're like for the last few years, you haven't been able like you're getting Lakers taxed to death, and it's not even just Lakers. It's like almost like a Rob tax right now. It's like you're getting Rob taxed to death in trades. Trying to he did a good job with the with the, the signings. In, the you know what I mean? Team, I yeah. agree with that. I was praising him for that. But I'm saying. That, my point. But I'm saying before and at, like not doing. But I'm saying it's it's a very bad indictment not doing anything at the trade deadline and not doing anything at the uh, free agency. What could he do? He's a GM. It's his job to figure it out. You know what <laughs> I mean? Like, I'm not a GM. There's not much you can do. Yes, there was. Other player, other teams did did more with less. Who? What? Like I said, the, like the Bulls trade was ass. It the was fucking. A good trade for them. Um, they needed a playmaker. They got no, somebody. Kidding, there was also a, there was also the another trade that I was like, how they even fucking do that? And I'm trying to uh, like, remember. Pelican John one? Murray. Murray one? Yeah, what did Murray, Again, yeah, that, what did Murray that, go for? That's because that's because the what fucking dudes for? don't want to do trades with the Lakers, bro. That's yeah, that's my point. But it's not just like, okay, yeah, and you I have to. Also, they don't the want to take D'Lo back thing. either. Like that yeah. doesn't fit on the box. It doesn't saying, make sense for I agree them to with do the that organization trade. thing with Palinka, but I, I disagree with the players, players not yeah. wanting to come to Los Angeles. Right. Okay, that's fine. But that's fine. But I'm saying that like from that's what I'm saying. That's where that's what I was saying that that's where the disconnect is. I'm blaming Rob, but it has nothing to do with the players. Okay. It's about Rob. Like okay. he players, people don't want to trade with him for one reason or another. Yeah. I to me, it doesn't that. matter what the reason is. That's fair. Yeah. It's yeah. like if you have somebody in your organization that is known that people don't want to do business with them, why is he in the organization? What is he there for? You know what I mean? Like it's, it sucks for him. Because he has a terrible like, job. I, I, I guess he doesn't have a this terrible year, job. Kick him off, yeah, but, God, but like even the big things, the big things with LeBron and Davis. LeBron came of his own accord, and then literally him and Davis had like a fucking link up to pull up and team up in LA at the same time. The only thing we give, the only thing I give Rob, the only thing I give Rob is getting rid of Westbrook and getting that deal. I get, of course, that was a miracle, godsend thing he did, but he also caused that, so that cancels out, right? Yeah. Other than that canceling out, what has else this man done? Yes, we got Gabe on a great contract. Won a chip under him too. We did. All right. We won it. All right. Oh, we just won a chip. It's just a chip. <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. That's LeBron. Because... I'm giving more credit to LeBron, man. He's on my plane. Oh, play. my goodness. Yeah, he's on my plane, man. We, we had, had, we had credit to Rob. Hey, hey, who's who's let me say this. Let me say this. We had, like, KCP and them. They was chilling. They was asking. I want to give credit to them, but when they don't do good. Clearly, if we resign damn near everybody on that comes to our team, I feel like they're doing something right. Like, the only players we let walk is dudes who can get more money other places. No, the best niggas. They let Caruso walk. Like, well, they traded him. They didn't even let him walk. We let Crusoe oh, yeah, yeah. walk. We yeah, let no, Crusoe walk. That's what I'm saying. We let Crusoe walk. We let Crusoe walk after. We didn't want to give him more like money. KCP that's walk. Yeah, because it's chipping. No, we traded KCP. Yeah. Did we? For Russell oh, Westbrook. Oh, yeah, for Westbrook. Fucking yeah, dumbass. For Westbrook. Westbrook. Yeah. But, but we let no, Crusoe K- walk. KCP resigned with us, literally. Yeah. After all, he's ca- he was yeah. on the team while we were shit, and he came back. That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, he was luckily there, and he improved because he was playing like We got dudes like JaVale McGee, Dwight Howard, Rondo, like. Yeah. Ron Deasy. Yeah, but them niggas were old, too. Like, we just luckily, we got, like, some. Oh, Danny Green, them, Avery you know Bradley. I, mean? like, I feel like we can all agree Danny that if the that Lakers don't do good team, next call, year, Plinker could go. I think I, can agree I think it's that. time, but I agree. Like Obviously, he'll get this year. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, if especially if things still don't change much, because it's like, why I'm so mad is that going into this year, as far, you know what I mean? If the season started yet, tomorrow, you know, what are we doing yeah, the same thing? We, needed, we needed, needed to do yeah. something. That's the point. We've had a bad Like, season. I'm not the like, GM, but we needed to do so something. Eventually, Keeping it the same as Boof. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, so I mean, yeah, this offseason was point. terrible. Yeah. Eventually, okay. Rob can't keep it's the first, like, accountability. It's the first disastrous offseason or, like, really bad offseason we've had. You know, Every we other should, off, last year, I was happy with the additions. You know what we should do? We should do a like an online video, a Discord video, going through the last, like, the last reign of Rob Palinka and seeing everything he did. So we can have, like, a. I was just looking at it. Like, from 20. 2018, 2019, every, every when was like he from 2020. 2020? From the championship, yeah. Okay. That's what I was yeah. yeah, from that, we should go down the list and see what we, like, we're putting in the positive pile and the negative pile. What good thing he did, what bad thing. And we'll, and we'll positives. see. If, you think so? Yes. We can I go down the list. Yeah. Is it's a good video. It's a good video to yeah, make, yeah, too. Like, judging Rob Palinka's tenure as a Laker. Yeah. We, we could call it judging Rob Palinka's tenure as a Laker, whatever. We could do a video on Discord. And, um, but I want to see what he did Either and what he didn't do. And so, because this man has, I don't know, he is the common denominator of all these things, as Omar said. Either way, that's every GM. So, if they don't do good. Well, I mean, Daryl Morey's gone, but the Rockets still do very good things after Daryl Morey's gone. You know, like the Rockets still make good moves. The Lakers need to change in their uh, in their draft for one season (laughs) or two years. Hey, that's still good. 
they were terrible. I mean, yeah, it's ago. it's a lot it's a lot easier to go from a shitty team with young players to a better team than it is from a contender to like a, a yeah even better. You know, yeah. they had no max players. Jalen Green, like Singoon, those guys have rookie, rookie contracts. Deals. So they they were able to overpay Dylan Brooks. These, Dylan Brooks' value cratered after that yeah. uh, series uh, with Memphis, but they paid him like yeah, that. Didn't have a max too. Didn't he have eighty? Yeah. Do they? Well, Van Vliet's contract Jock was got to. to some garbage ass contract. Van Vliet's contract is really yeah. good for the for the Rockets. They were just handing. They gave really good contracts. Yeah, actually, yes. They gave non guaranteed deals. Which uh, some young good. dude just still, tore like, Which, but they did good. So, if, the, if uh, Rob had all that cash space to work with, I promise you, he pulls in some players like a young dude, Deron Holmes, suffered a torn Achilles. Oh, tough. I, I, I thought he was a, prayers. Prayers. He was my sleeper of the draft too. Bro. Really, so, he was. Yeah, that's why I said. Actually, wow. He was the backing up for he the was, Nuggets. Apparently, he was hooping too. Yeah. yeah, he had like 15 points in like 20 minutes. Oh my right. God, that's ripped. Let's talk about uh, right. the DeRozan offer or trade, yeah. right? I mean, uh, the trade. Him going to the Sacramento Kings. Yeah, you I, guys think I mean, that, it uh, wasn't really a trade. They got like two second rounders or yeah. whatever. What was your so question? So you're questioning it for the. It's thing. like even if it was a bad fit, like I would take a dude for two second rounders. If, yeah. You know what I mean? Like yeah. if. Oh, technically, if he Harrison shoot, Barnes. Here, let him say his if question first, and then we can discuss jumpers, this. So it could be like, a let him say his Harrison question. Harrison Barnes yeah, got yeah, shipped yeah. to the Spurs. I, oh, yeah. I like that for them because they kind of need some more vets, Just in my vet. opinion. Yeah. yeah. So, do you think uh, Demar Derozan being on the Sacramento Kings helps them become a better team or no. move the needle? Or what do you I saw someone say this in my workplace. They're like, "Yeah, they went from an 11 seed to a 10 seed, or like yeah. 10 to 9." <laughs> <laughs> they, yeah. They, like, all right, they, they're going to get a few more wins. I mean, they definitely upgraded because. But this is a glaring hole. But I don't like the fit personally. I don't think that's what they needed because. Starting lineup's going to look kind of scary defensively. I mean, you got, okay, De'Aaron Fox, either Herter or Monk, then DeRozan, Keegan Murray, and Sabonis. Like, I good saw, luck, Keegan no, Murray. I saw a meme. Brother, yeah. I, saw a I saw a meme. <laughs> saying, I saw a meme cooked, saying the Kings like are petitioning to uh, remove the three-point line for their games. Because <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sabonis hit DeRozan. The, the good thing I do like about... Fox the, barely started making yeah. threes, too. And even him, he's like low tier. <laughs> the good thing I do like about it, though, is that they got another score and just another closer, so... It'll be good for them when De'Aaron Fox doesn't have it going or he's not playing. They actually have someone to rely on because yeah. as good as Sabonis is, you're not going to him in a clutch. You know what I mean? You're yeah. not going to him for, to go get a bucket. So DeMar DeRozan can be that, and he plays every game, so you know he's going to stay healthy. They're so it is definitely presence. an upgrade, but I just don't see it like they don't they don't jump a tier or anything like that. They definitely got better and probably you know solidify their playoff spot, play-in spot, but yeah. it's still a lot of questions around it, the fit and everything. So I think if they make a, a, a couple more moves – It'll be, it'll look better, but right now, I don't think it's enough. Yeah, to add on to that, I feel like this also helps them keep De'Aaron Fox happy with getting another player <laughs> just for the year and yeah. the season, like having a name such as DeMar DeRozan on your roster and seeing what you could do with him. Uh, keeps the balance, but yeah, you basically covered everything there. Them losing Harrison Barnes, at least Harrison Barnes is a decent defender. He's a better defender than DeMar DeRozan is. So you lose defense there, it's just like strictly offense, and I guess... They'll raise up to another seed, maybe be a higher playing team or playoffs if they get a, a good run in them. But uh, DeMar DeRozan doesn't move the needle in terms of making Sacramento a championship contender. So, yeah. But it's a good signing, to I guess, for them to have another I mean, yeah, guy. They gave up know. nothing. They gave up yeah. Chris Duarte in two <laughs> yeah. seconds. Like, Perfect. literally fucking bag of chips, dude. Sure like, yeah, but um, I was gonna, I'm, I'm just going to add on... Uh, like I'm not even gonna lie, I ate some Howlin' Rays today, mm. and my shit, my stomach is like jumping. So. No, you got it. Yeah, that's just that's just uh, gas. I was yeah, it Howling was that was the first time I had it, bro. I got medium. First time? Like this is, I guess it's just a tangent. I haven't been there. So yeah. mid, mid talk pod tangent, but uh, yeah, I got medium, bro, mm. and it's like the spice level itself wasn't too crazy, but they put so much seasoning on the bro. chicken, I'm, yeah, that that shit still like. After a while, it's like Jesus Christ. Like I got a mouthful of fucking cayenne Here, pepper. You know what I mean? Here's like, my question. Yeah. How's the quality of the chicken though? Nah, that shit is amazing. Yeah. Like the best, the best <laughs> yeah, you ever yeah, had, right? Amazing, yeah. I agree. I'm like, I'm, I'm gonna go back. I'm just gonna get mild next time. Did you Where's wait? You in, did you wait in a line? It's uh, Chinatown. Oh, Chinatown. Oh, China there's China one in Chinatown. China there's yeah. one in Pasadena. Yeah, the line was decently long. It took me like 20 minutes to just get That's through the line. No, 20, 30, like, like through the line. Not during lunch. Pasadena is like an hour long. Oh, it's because we went at like 12. That's good. Like it opens at 11, so. Did you get the oh. sandwich or like? I just got tenders, bro. Like, tenders. so that, that's also why, because I'm like, I'm sure if you put it in the bun with slaw Cold and pickles slot, and and, so good, and, yeah. and bread, like it'll it hits. It'll, but it'll like curb the spice somewhere in the seasoning. I say all that to say, yeah, like whatever we got to get to, <laughs> I, I hope to get to it in the next thirty minutes. <laughs> oh, I mean, because I need to go to the bathroom. It's yeah. fine, bro. We're already going on an hour thirty. So. Yeah, yeah. So <laughs> you I'm, like, like, more like, I'm like, whatever uh, the last, the next topic is, like, we should. Yeah, uh, Jalen Brunson <laughs> taking a hundred oh, yeah. million dollar. They got to build a statue oh, okay, for that okay. man. That's yeah. A, yeah, that's a good, that's a good, so, uh, uh, good let's topic. Talk about this then. Shout out to Jalen Brunson. 
he took 113 million less than he could have made next season because he hopes to make the uh, Knicks a contender. He said he looked at Patrick Mahomes and Tom Brady and doing taking good man, their good man. So hopefully it pays off for the Knicks. I feel like that's huge for them because good their karma. real issue was like okay after getting Mikel and re-signing OG, it's like good luck trying to fill the rest of the roster out. You know Mitchell yeah. Robinson's their only center. So, but oh, now yeah, they lost Hardenstein. Now I feel like they have a little more flexibility. It could go trade for somebody that's not necessarily a minimum contract or something like that. Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen some. Um, I don't know if this will work, but Vucevic rumors because he could oh. be possibly get out there. I don't know if I like that fit, but he wouldn't play because he's a replacement. Kid. He's a replacement. No He'll defense. fill it. Oh yeah. So, yeah. He'll fill that's, the role. That's why I don't like the fit. The defense yeah, isn't the defense there, but bad. the yeah. fact that they can even like get somebody like that just makes them even more. Clax is on the market. Did he resign? No, he resigned. He can't be traded. Oh, damn. Yeah. He would have been crazy. Like, Who, let me look at the Ooh. teams. I feel Claxton. Like Oh yeah, he that would have been like four year, or improved year, uh, year? like four year, yeah. ten yeah. times improved Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, yeah, yeah he like off the bench. But uh, nah, yeah, yeah so you, could, you could start him. Basically covered it, but I wanted to ask you guys: Would you guys take a hundred million dollar pay cut? Hell no! <laughs> yeah, you're a better man than me. Nah, that's what I was saying, man. But for my dogs, like, no, nah. I, I might. If for his million? for his scenario, it might be amazing. Uh, but he's also because he's gonna recruit like. They're gonna they're gonna cheat him right. You know what yeah. I mean? Like I We're don't think that, I don't think he's gonna now. go. Out. We won't see Brunson in China <laughs> talking, talking about. No, still hundred million. Leon Rose no, is a took, liar. He took a hundred fifty six million dollar contract, dude. These guys are making like 200, 300 mil. So he took. But like he's gonna be eligible, that, and he's damn near on that level. But dude, I think in three, it's, it's, it's like three. Max makes it all NBA. But it's like did, three or yeah. four years. He'll still he'll be eligible for like four hundred, like three. He'll get he'll get an extension. He'll get an extension. Oh, it was Jalen Duran. In three years. Brenton. He's like 24, 25? 27. No, no he's like 27. 27. Yeah, he, he, he played in college. A 30 year old. Uh, but they, made, but they may do right by him. But just 30, year old, 30 years old, they'll, they'll, they'll max him. Pay him name another, okay. They'll max him out. I promise if you. If they win a chip, I promise you they're going to pay him. That's the done Lakers? that? 100 million less? Two. No, no, no. They, they pay Kobe. Because it's also like, I always say, like, okay, if Jalen Brunson wins the ring, yes, they'll give it to him. It's also like, like bro, if he wins a ring, bro, they will reward him. It's also like, dude, yeah, not everybody, not everybody yeah. has the the money mindset. You know what I mean? Like, every yeah. for a lot he of people, a lot of people, no, I get earn every. Cent he still of paid, his yeah, I get, but he still got a hundred million on the table. What, what was his last contract? What was the contract he just came uh, off? Three year, ninety mil. Yeah, he was underpaid, and people thought he was over. And so, but so he's now he's going like after a month, yeah. which I understand he, he blossomed. So was this a four year? Walker Kessler, that's who was. This is a four year deal, right? This is a four year deal. Was a four or five? Guys, was a four or five? It's four year deal, one fifty, right? It it's three. Years. It's Dude, three of the option. I'm pretty sure. Isaiah Hornstein made more money this year with the Thunder than Jalen Brunson. Exactly. It's yeah. disrespectful to the market and him as a player to take a hundred million dollars less. Not, that's that's not to you, but up to him. He's cool with it. Yeah. He's cool. It's with just it. like yeah. That's not, what I'm saying. Okay. Not everybody. Yeah, it's just like, dude, he like, is cool with it. Exactly. I'm not. <laughs> yeah, I would not. Yeah, that's exactly. what I'm saying. That's y'all. But it's just like if if you're already at a point. Some people you get to money a point where you're making enough that money. Guy. I can tell money yeah, doesn't mean like everything to Jalen Brunson. You get to a point when you're in the NBA, you're making enough money. It's not even the money aspect. It's me being disrespectful. It's, it's not he. It, he knows that Personal. he's worth it. Yeah. He doesn't. He has his self worth. He doesn't need some. He doesn't like if he knows that he's giving this up to to play with his dogs. It's not like he feels like he's le worth less. You know what I mean? He just wants. This is what he cares about more. He's he cares more about being about with himself, his, his 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 <laughs> brothers. He cares about being his bros, and he cares about having the flexibility to actually right, win so a championship. Yes, if I already no, I made if I already made a hundred m's. Yeah, and they offer me a hundred fifty m's for the next few years. You're taking a hundred. Like yeah, thirteen million dollar pay. Because you're I'm still not accepting like, one fifty, bro. Like, I'm, like yeah, I gotta, you get to a point where your life, yeah, your it. life doesn't change that much. Like, uh, well, what yeah, is what does his daily life other, change? Okay, but his generational, like generations. But I'm saying too. I would if I'm in that situation, and the organization that already wanted that wants me, obviously, you know what I mean. That wants to build something here. They enjoy what I built here, and I want to be here. I want to be here with my dudes. It's just like I will give them the chance. It's just like. Getting that extra, like, what is it, 30 M's a, a year? It's just money, like, bro. it's a lot of money. I get, it's obviously a lot of money. It's not just 30 M's, but it's just yeah. like the gap in what you're doing. You're literally an NBA player. Your life isn't going to be that much mm -hmm. different it's with those change. extra 30 M's. But obviously, you can do things. You can invest it. You can do things. Know, it won't be that but I'm saying, like, your daily life. Increase. That's a lot. Of, a lot it's of a lot of. I get it's a lot of money, like, like, but I'm saying your like daily the, uh, life as an NBA paid, player. Daily life, no. Even your even life, but yes. even how much but even how much you can take care of your family, even how much you can take care of everybody around you, you can already do that, and you're still gonna be able to do that. Not Some people long. just don't. Yes, you will. For 150 you know million, that is. When you retire, Hudson, 150 million is lasting. Gen it's generational. Uh, 
Damn it. Right, Hassan, if no, you don't no, think just wrap it up on the audio. Just wrap Hassan, it up. if you don't think 150 M's is generational, I don't know what to tell you. Okay. No, my point. Okay. It's like multi generational. Hassan, my whole point is when you. You're living a certain lifestyle. You think you can live that certain lifestyle for a hundred years, and then his other families can live that certain lifestyle too. Obviously, you want generational wealth, but I'm saying that he's not gonna make that much money again ever in his life. 100%. But he still will have a chance to get that crazy max. Yeah. Come, come this a time. Chance, not guaranteed. He, this is guaranteed going into next. Obviously, season. but I'm saying he's taking the chance on his dudes, and this is what he cares about more than having those extra 30 m's for these few years. He would rather take bake on the chance to offset it and get a chip. And I get understand why the things that he, you know what I mean. So it's like not everybody. I, do I get that you guys wouldn't do it, but it's, he's not just like completely insane. Oh my god! Like, why that's would what? you even ever do that? Like, some no, people no, just don't have those it. type of. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, that's no, what I'm saying. I'm just saying I, I wouldn't do that crap though. I feel like I, it's disrespectful. In the situation, it's that not Manuel disrespectful. quickly is making more money than me. It's not disrespectful. It's not, it's not, it's this dude is not even an all-star. So you're not secure. That's all ego. That's ego. That's ego. It's not even that. That's ego. That's ego. You're insecure. Uh huh. Yeah. Uh huh. Uh huh. I am. We'll just need a, we should have just put like a graphic over this, like Brunson and his contract. Or like, or Brunson or like, or Brunson slurping that one thing noise. The heart, made heart is, a uh, heart's making more than Brunson or yeah, something. Yeah, I just feel like the way that yeah, I look yeah, at yeah. the market of the NBA is what players are making, uh, players that are making more than me, or what my value is dictated in the market. I understand, but being, I'm like, making a hundred million dollars. Think about it like this. Could oh, but I'm help the us get someone else. Comparison. Watch you this. think they're, they're, they're going to be, you actually think the Knicks are going to win a championship? You, no, you, you know what I'm about to say. God, you know say. Hey, I'm now say they God's might. Now they might, bro. Yeah. They might. I'm about to say God's your comparison right like here. Whoever you get, still not going to be able to help you be Jokic or someone who goes to another team or like. Nah, they, I think I think the Knicks. Knicks. Honestly, like right now, I think mm. the Knicks have a good chance. If the are Nuggets don't do anything else, do to do get somebody else. You think they are? You just ignoring the Celtics team to get somebody else. Yeah. Well, the Celtics. I thought they had a good chance healthy this year. So I'm like, they they added a piece. Obviously, they lost Hartenstein, but they added a piece. So I think they still have a chance, and I think they'll probably. Better, in my opinion. Yeah, I mean, but personally, I, the way I feel, the reason I feel like this is I don't think they'll make, get over the top or the, of the hump. And you're just over the Celtics or any team like they uh, don't win a championship within Brunson's. But in three years, in three years, he'll he'll still be good enough to get to his max. I promise I don't think you. So. Yes, he will. I think he will. You don't think he will be it's good four enough? Four years too, not three. Four years. It's three. It's three. three options. Contract though. Me personally, oh, I think oh, this, season, be, yeah, this yeah, is going to be the best. Me personally, I think last season was the best season he'll ever have in his career. And I think that once you reach thirty years old. Like the people are gonna think you're gonna be a declining option. Bro, you said Jalen Brown's gonna be better than 27 points. I don't think game. he's gonna you get Darren Ward, man. I don't think he's gonna get Darren Ward. You, you all, you all, you all, like, look at point, me. Bro. All, right, all right, I'm saying the Jalen Brown. I'm saying thing. when you reach a, a certain age limit, you're gonna get like two year contracts. You're not gonna get a long term contract unless, like, to the point Beth said, they won a championship. And they were given money in thirty year olds terms, still get thirty year olds still get maxes be. though. They're thirty year olds still get. Like, I don't think he'll be at old. that level at his size. Look at Kemba Walker, bro, retired. Oh, he's, 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 he's not Kemba, man. I'm just saying those guys, those players I get, that size a, won't. I, I, get, Paul, I, get I, Paul, I get there's a chance. I get there's a chance. Different level, bro. He's literally the top five point guard of all time. Okay, Brunson's is nice. Skill wise, Brunson's is great. There's a reason why he got drafted in the second round. He's a good. He's hard. He's all NBA. 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 He's all <laughs> but he'll, he'll never be this. He'll never I'm be better that. than the top ten. He'll never be in the top ten. He okay, got drafted in the second but round. He, but he has like mechanics like, and uh, Green. Green. yeah. But he, they have like certain aspects of their like build that let him play for a long oh, time, right? Bronson is good. He's good. He's good. He's good. Chris Paul's short. We've had this conversation. Chris yeah, Chris Paul's yeah. a top player and a top five point guard of all time. Yeah. You think Jalen Brunson's gonna keep that? For well, that you one. don't have to be a top five player of next to make money. You don't have to be a top Just five to player say. to make money, y'all. But come on. No, no, not even that. Tobias you, Harris. You don't have to be bag. a top five player of all time to Tobias play that long. Ball. Like you could play that yeah. long and be average. Like, or to be a max. To be fucking... Or to be a max player. There's like so twenty think, max players. You think Jalen Brunson? Probably more than if twenty he, max players. If you call George a max player right now, he's like not even close to what he was. He's been an all star for such a long time. You think Brunson's going to continue to be all star? He's gotten give me all star. If you guys believe he's going to be at least a five time all star, but if you believe that, then three, four years, you'll get. Paid him more money, but I don't think he's gonna keep that. I thing. believe there's you a. You don't risk. think he's gonna make an All Star the next three seasons? He'll make probably next year, I'd say, but probably next, next three seasons. I don't think so, bro. I think, I think the he's Eastern Conference is solidified, solidified now. They, they fall. They two fall years off straight of playing is good. I think he's solidified, like that. He's okay. that good. He may fall. Obviously, people decline. After eventually. taking his pay cut, they gonna make sure he's the number one option too. Next year, yeah. I'm telling sure. you, bro. Like he, next year, will be an I think they'll treat him right after. I don't think. I don't think they're going Daryl Morey him. I think they'll treat him right event. Like even if he's not the 27 a game, I think he'll get his some dollars. We'll see. He may he may get paid to trade it off. Think, yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. He may get paid to trade it, but yeah. like yeah, I just think he'll get paid. That too, like they can yeah, just yeah, give yeah. him the money and be like, all right, if you, you we we can't pay you this, but uh, we'll give you Someone the money because you did us a solid. Like, yeah, they'll sign and trade or something like
if he makes it worth it. I like, obviously, so. if they fucking fail, they're not going to pay. Yeah, for it. I mean, which would suck. I no, would. That would be the worst I, case. This scenario. team, like, as constructed, it would be so sad to like see that. Like, that would be like one of the craziest. Like, whatever. Celtics, me personally. Damn, yeah. Yeah. I, well, I, I do think they could beat them, but they even could. if they're not, like, yeah, if they, they just like, if they like, or just you know how some teams can get constructed and they just end up being ass, like, that would just be. Terrible. Terrible. No, I don't think. I mean, they added a player that they already know how yeah. to play with, and he can play on any team. So I don't think. I think they're the, gonna be great. The only the only like question mark for them is their center right now. They're gonna be like second second seed or something in my opinion. I don't know. I, mean, I, don't, I think, but I think they'll be better. Top four. Milwaukee, Milwaukee Top four. did nothing this offseason. Yeah. They didn't do shit. They got Torian Prince, bro. Even the Sixers. Terrible, I think. Though. Yes, it was. Yeah, yeah. I think the Outside of around the edges, they lost Malik Beasley, who had a fucking career year. They have no defense as it is. Like who the fuck? Who the fuck's playing? They have like a bunch of randoms. Like you take away. I don't think he is. Yeah. Is Connaughton still there, my boy? The Pacers have a better supporting cast. Huh? The Pacers have a better supporting cast right now. I don't yeah, like, they've got the best bench in the NBA. But besides Giannis and Dame, well, that's true. And I guess so. besides Giannis and Dame, like, the too. Bucks ain't doing shit. I think they're banking on the chemistry being better than last season and them being. But they just have no talent. They have no talent. Roster like, like going last year. They have Jordan Norris still. Some they're contenders to win a championship, coach? right? Yeah, but now they got worse. Like, they got worse, yeah. And other teams coach? got better. Like Sixers got better. You know who it is. Yeah, you know who it is. Doc Rivers and our assistant coach Darvin Ham. Yeah, Darvin went back. Yeah, I still think the roster is good enough to compete. If you have Giannis and Damian Lillard, you have enough to compete. Yeah, they'll be they'll be like fourth in my opinion. They'll be like fourth seed. I see like no no. This is the only reason that like they have a chance. Game two, but they're lower end. Like they don't have a chance. But it's like Lillard and Brunson are equal to me in my opinion. Yeah. Yeah. But Lillard can turn it on for the Bucks. Yeah, he's just done it for a long time. I don't I don't like their supporting cast personally. Yeah, it's not good enough right now. Like the team. Yeah. The the way the NBA is like right now, it's obviously like you need your stars, but like right now, big name role players are like the shit. You no, know what I mean? I like, still, I still think you need your stars to win. It you out. need your stars, but I'm saying to, we to see we see team. stars. Yeah, you see stars. Yeah, to round it out, yeah, for sure. Say, the like, Suns, like, the Suns, yeah, bro. Suns, Lakers, <laughs> perfect examples. Like you see the stars, but you need top tier role players around on the team. Like exactly. that's why obviously Jokic is generational. But Jamal Suns, Murray and Gordon. plays Aaron generational Gordon against and KCP. us. But it's like, yeah, they have top tier role players who yeah. hit the timely shots they need to every time. They hustle. They get their rebounds yeah. when they need to. They don't give up. Uh, they don't make dumb mistakes. You know what I mean? So right now, it's just without even having the generational talent, there's so much talent in the league that you need to have good role players now. It's not just yeah. Damian Giannis aren't going to carry anything anymore. But Bobby yeah. Portis like, is good. Chris Middleton's still good. Bobby Portis Anton's is good. okay. Like, yeah, Anton's Anton's great. Brooke Lopez, he's getting older. Like, and yeah. Austin might have a leap, know. you know. So. And, but <laughs> but after, that, after that, they're hella thin. Like, they literally have people who are... Uh, Name you know, one player coming Like, up Flight, you know what I mean? Flight's Portis. not naming them. They, <laughs> Flight watched the Bucks game. <laughs> Flight watched the Bucks game, he's not naming them. So, like, the rest are nobody. So, it's just like... Marcus yeah, but okay, yeah, we should wrap this up because like, we're getting a long segment of, of just uh, darkness, of just audio. Yeah. yeah. Uh, All right. Uh, anyway, whatever's on the screen that you see, that's it was a good combo too. Now yeah. I wish we had the had the, uh, it's be Kevin Gates the video. I, I, thought we'd, I thought we'd wrap it up. Yeah, no, me too. Brunson thing, so. It is what it is though. All right. It's all good. Uh, thanks episode. everyone for tuning into this episode. <laughs> Appreciate y'all. <laughs> Drop a like. I got infinity money. If you enjoyed the episode, shout out to Kai Jones for some reason. Anyway. Catch y'all on the next one.